Hey guys, we watched every single episode of Spectacular Spider-Man. If you guys want us to watch more superhero shows, make sure to comment them down below, and the most commented one we'll watch next. And make sure to check out the Patreon for the uncut commentary of our full reaction, and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. It's my last night before school starts. And I could really use some action. I could really use some action. Spider-Man hasn't shot his webs in a couple weeks. Oh no, not again. Yep, again. Oh my goodness, it's like anime censorship. Why does he have like a cock light? <laughs> what the f*** is that? He said he wants some action tonight, bro. He's lighting up what he wants. Is Spider-Man gonna get cocked again? Financial wizard, he was not. <sighs> He evaded his taxes for many years. <laughs> the IRS is hounding us down as we speak. How's the most beautiful girl in Forest Hills this morning? <laughs> Who's the hottest woman in this goddamn building right now, goddamn? Who's the sexiest silver fox in the neighborhood? <laughs> I don't think he said that one. Osborne, you stole my work. That's dangerous talk, Mr. Toombs. This is crazy because they literally introduce all of the iconic Spider-Man villains in the first episode. How'd summer treat you? Science camp was fun. Yeah, well, the world tour stunk. This is such a memorable voice. I think it's Johnny Tess voice actor. Yeah, it's Johnny Tess. Oh my God. Me when I see a mid-ass white woman. <laughs> Boy, yo, 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 yo. Me, me when I see the white woman with blue eyes and blonde hair versus the white woman with blue eyes and blonde hair and glasses. That's the big distinction here. He's a <laughs> fucking nerd and he wants the Stacy, not the Macy, bro. I, I didn't know you two were... School. Cool? It's cool. He doesn't care. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Lucky you didn't try this with my girl, Parker. Why is this guy sensitive? He didn't even have anything to do with you. What the fuck? Enforcers all present and accounted for, boss. Thank you, Hammerhead. These guys look goofy as hell. I feel like they hit the randomize button in the characterization. <laughs> Getting bit by a radioactive spider solved his vision. So what I need is to put a spider in the microwave, mm -hmm. get the radio waves going, and let it bite me. That's a Steinscape sequel we all need. All I'm saying is, let's just hope that spider was from the right dimension, bro. I'm sorry, Mr. Osborne. I Don't you dare apologize, son. I never do. You can't get laid, P Peter. I, I can't let my son hang around virgin, so uh, <laughs> please leave. Here, take this 20 and go down to the Red District. Then you can come back. Get some resin, you. Get some experience. <laughs> oh. oh! What <laughs> Most, the hell? What? The background animation is kind of good. Like, I think they do a good job of, like, utilizing the 3D and then kind yeah. of blurring it. Like, the way they do the zooms and stuff makes it still feel like you're moving through the backgrounds, even when it's static. You are the bossiest damsel in distress I have ever rescued. Also the ugliest, deadliest, and the first. Like, Jesus Christ. I get you're a CEO, man, but, like, cut the bounds. I admire anyone who dresses up as their favorite animal. Better still, you can fly. Dude, he doesn't even have, like, a helmet. Like, his nose is just a vulture. <laughs> That's probably a super villain backstory. Everybody called him vulture as a kid, bullied him relentlessly. I've been called a bird since I was a child. Well, who's the bird now? Still, still me, I guess, actually. But I am late, right? Always, bro. Oh, Eddie! Bro, they really introduced everybody. I'm really impressed how effectively they introduce every character. Like, it doesn't feel rushed. Kurt! Stop hiding in the office. New interns are here. Oh yeah, and then this is the the lizard guy. Is this like the Andrew Garfield one or something? Cause I, swear, I think Andrew Garfield got all the shitty villains, I'm pretty sure. You're a high school kid with zero experience. You're not getting paid. I can't wait to like a whole YouTube conversation to be pissed off. I haven't even seen any of those movies in like 12 years. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Andrew Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> will, will you stutter again? Yeah, he will Wait stutter again. again. Andrew Garfield is hot as fuck. He's a very attractive man. The movie sucks. Robbie, where's my layout? Boswell, I ordered that rewrite 12 seconds ago. I can't listen to this. No J.K. Simmons, I can't listen to this. Photos of Spider-Man in action. <laughs> Bro, how does this guy work in the media and still have that mustache? Like, has he not gotten the memo with cancel culture? That'd sell newspapers, huh? <sighs> Today officially reeks. Today officially reeks. It's a stinko bomb of a day. <laughs> it's a stinko bomb of a day. I haven't showered. That's probably why. I haven't washed the suit in weeks. Yeah, how does he wash his suit? Like, you go to the dry cleaners? <laughs> uh, 
Background animation, though. Background. Yeah. I didn't know that Spectacular Spider-Man was going to have it like that. Like, the animation is actually good. I mean, I will say, I think some of the best Western animation is in, like, superhero cartoons. Because they tend to be the most ambitious. Since they have all the action scenes and stuff. <laughs> The gargoyle isn't just gonna fall off. Isn't it like attached to the building? <laughs> bro, that guy looks fucking hilarious. Oh my God. Look at his mustache. These are the evil guys, bro. <laughs> I, I like how Spider-Man ripped an entire gargoyle statue made of stone out of a building, but he couldn't rip the mustache off <laughs> this guy. I can't let Harry lose his dad the way I lost Uncle Ben. Way to trauma dump <laughs> episode one. Way to trauma dump in your inner monologue. I get it. You burnt your Uncle Ben's rice, bro. Like, I do that shit every day. It was rice aroni though. I don't really know how he did that. Did you really think you could hide from me there? Whoa. That looks cool. That's a cool perspective. You do us both. <laughs> You so have not been paying attention. <laughs> He's talking to us. Peter Parker's telling us to shut the fuck up. And I still have this amazing person watching out for me. Tell me there's something better. May is so hot. You fucking for real? Didn't you literally say that like earlier uh, in the recording that she was like bad as hell? Aunt May, more like Aunt Wood. You might want to clean the tank. <laughs> It's clean. It's clean. There, I hope a guy doesn't fall in there and become uh, an electric villain that let you fight later. Haha. Ha. I hope some famous actor named Jamie Foxx doesn't fall in there. <laughs> that is so brutal. Holy shit. Was this animated by like the same people who animated Monster Incorporated? Yeah, Menstrual Incorporated was animated by this show. Put these on. Creators worked on Mystery Incorporated and OG Team Titan. Fog champ. This shit is amazing though. Like, what the hell? This actually looks. They just reused that from the intro song. I just got scammed, dude. But this looks good. Daily Bugles offering major fundage for a photo of Spider Man in action. Oh. The pink hair girl is gonna be a main character. You don't give a character colored hair and don't make them relevant, okay? Ramona Flowers, Spectacular Spider-Man kinda has like the Scott Pilgrim eyes. Hey, Eddie. They literally gave him the super villain outfit in the <laughs> hospital. Why is it green though? Like, least could, you could do is make this shit a different color. I fucking hate green. Can you make it pink? And I want a Hello Kitty bumper sticker on my ass. Study with Petey? Ugh. I don't think so. I love how over the fucking top all these characters are. Every character has like a really strong and distinct accent too, or like way of speaking. You have to give yourself time to adjust. Adjust to what? This? Dude, they literally gave him the super villain outfit. They should have put him in like a microwave or like in a, like a little chamber so he wouldn't use his power. Put him in a mascot suit. Yeah, they should have just put him in like a bunny mascot suit and then he wouldn't control it. Imagine the money he could make working for Duracell. Damn. Dude, he could be the Energizer bunny. Oh my God. Maybe if you stop texting Flash for just a minute. Good idea. I'll call him instead. <laughs> I can't even drink a lousy cup of coffee. One bad coffee can get a motherfucker like this. One bad coffee. Uh oh. Thug alert. Thug alert. This is why you get bullied, Peter. You can't say thug alert, bro. Does PD have some unchecked biases? He hates green people. He doesn't fuck with electric types. He has all of his money in ground type. Hey, Spider Man. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> bro, he's taking selfies with this guy. Fucked up. You really shouldn't have done that. He looks like that Scooby-Doo villain from that movie that we saw, the blue guy. Oh, the oh, cyber yeah. chase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get bullied for a reason, bro. At least change the tone. At least change the tone. Hung up my jersey back in Midtown. I'm strictly a nerd now. We're all nerds here. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? We're, We're all, all nerds, nerds here. here. Join us. Become one of us. Everything's connected. As scientists, we explore and expand upon those connections. They have no chemistry whatsoever. I'm sorry, what is going on right now? Riz, shut up. You get the girls out the back. What? Eddie, no! Ah! 
Oh my god, what? Eddie! Goat? Look, I messed up before, but now I really want to help. You want to hold my hand? I don't mean to be this, that guy, but like, this villain is extremely fucking stupid. He's like, I don't want to be fixed later. Fix me now! And then he's just destroying everything that they would use to possibly, like, cure him. You don't think it's understandable that someone in this position would be the least bit irrational? No, I think it should be acting as logical as possible <laughs> right now. Oh, and his electric hit the little lizard stuff. You know, it's crazy that the budget for the animation is so high considering this came out at the peak of the 2008 recession. This was the cause of it. Th they spent so much money on the on spectacular, spectacular Spider-Man. It crashed the global economy. That's insane. Okay, Electro. Gloves are on. The rubber glove! That's why they showed us that earlier when he was playing with the fucking little goddamn fishies. He had those gloves on. Now he's using the same gloves to kick this dude's ass. I think he should just become Tire Man and roll around on a big tire and then he could kill this guy easily. You can't escape me up there, web slinger. This is my playground. Big Wheel. Oh my god. Where's Big Wheel, the greatest Spider-Man villain of all time? We need Big Wheel in this shit, bro. Who the fuck is... What are you talking about? Oh, I know what you're talking He's about. He's a Big Wheel. <laughs> He's a Big Wheel. What the fuck is Big Wheel? What, what about the guy who's just like a wall? This looks like a JoJo bullshit character. Why the fuck is he just a Big Wheel? <laughs> Being grounded right now might not be such a bad thing. Dude, did you get it? He said being grounded right now might not be a bad thing. Oh my goodness, science! Science rules. rules. Spider-Man's gonna get the vaccine! W! Dude, Spider-Man fucking dropped <laughs> a big dub. Perfect, like, Twitter clip right there. How did the water kill him? I don't understand. Because it was conducting onto himself. It was like overstimulation. He, he made it to the end of the goon compilation or something? Yeah, he was gooning a bit too hard <laughs> in the pool and then he fell over. Hey, what's Puny Parker doing here? Latina girlfriend, why are you totally cheating on me with this nerdy scrawny guy? He's shorter than her too. Yeah, but maybe she likes short kings. Another hapless victim of the wild, undomesticated cheerleader. Ew, that is ew, incel. Ew. Incel is yes. fuck right there. What the hell? <laughs> That's the most incel thing I've ever heard. That is an unhinged like Reddit thread. Don't worry, Petey, you'll get the femoid next no. time. Oh my god, Mark Zuckerberg episode. Oh yeah, because he was injecting himself with the lizard DNA because he's trying to regrow his arm. Mark Zuckerberg does the opposite of this every morning. He injects the human DNA into his arm so, he's, so he doesn't turn <laughs> into a lizard. I must maintain my facade. Ah. Uh... Yep, Aunt May's troubles are over. That bugle prize money is as good as- Oh my god, so those pictures, Peter, on your fucking Whoa. OnlyFans are- Missed opportunity. <laughs> Holy shit, that was really well animated. That is disgusting. Hey, partner! He's gonna eat his son, bro. Daddy's hungry. How hungry? They have a horse in the backyard that walks up. <laughs> How hungry? By the time we're through, he'll be a shivering wet rat. In the comics, he eats his son. Holy really? Shit. That's fucking hilarious. Puny Parker. <laughs> That's awesome. Bro's playing a video game right now. He's just dodging easy style. If you could hit a target under pressure, would we have lost to Bronx Tech? You choke like a cat with a hairball. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you want some aloe vera for that burn? This is the most stereotypical <laughs> high school. Bro, I love this guy. He's so chill. Bad enough my husband used himself as a guinea. <laughs> that was a sharp cut. Guinea. Sasuke Uchiha. Sasuke Uchiha. He's cheating on her with Sasuke Uchiha. He's been fucking with Ochimaru, dude. Kurt, please. You need to keep a clear head. Dude, if I had an internship here, I would fucking quit. Day one, some guy gets fucking electrocuted and turned into an evil electric guy. Day five, my boss turns himself into a lizard. I am out of here. I am never returning. Fuck this. Most of the babies get eaten by predators. And the parents don't even care. <laughs> oh, he is gonna eat his son. No way. He is gonna eat him. Oh my, I, I kind of want to see that. That would be funny as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Where's my I'm son? I'm so hungry I'm for hungry. my son! I'm hungry! Where I is my Billy? Son. I smell Billy! 
This is animated so well. What? I feel like a lot of the lizards represented in like a bunch of Spider-Man media look so uncool, but this guy looks fucking sick. It's because they made him black and not green. Well, it's like really dark green. They could have made him green like the Geico commercial and it wouldn't have been intimidating. We have to help. Well, I just... I can't be late. She worries. Dude, this is just like Invincible when he, he lies to his girlfriend. This is like every, every superhero, superhero media, media ever, ever made, made where they have yeah, to yeah, hide their identity their for no real reason. reason. Damn, he just destroyed his fingers. Okay, Lizzie. He made a bandage out of the web. <laughs> That's really funny. Number two express to the Bronx. Please stand clear of the closing doors. Eddie is like such a Chad. He's just strong. Like he doesn't have any superpowers. He's awesome. And he's still keeping up with this. Eddie's sick, Eddie's sick. I hope nothing changes with his character. Yo, the woman with the bag saved the day. Just let him eat his kids, Spider-Man. Yeah, like, it's nature. It's natural selection, baby. We'll have to find a way to make him drink it. Maybe by asking for help from a guy in a spider-themed onesie? They're just making Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce. They're like, Kurt really loved Chick-fil-A sauce. He's been trying to figure out the recipe for years. I think he's in there with the other creepy crawlies. He must have smelled him or something. Oh my god, what if he showed up for, like, the lizard orgy? Like, he's like, guess who's finally invited? Okay. Prep time. Somebody in chat just put like the best idea ever. What if they make his son drink the medicine and then he eats his son to take the cure? What? That's like where you put like the dog medicine, you oh, put it in their yeah. food so they eat it. Yeah. Like it's brilliant. So does he just have to call his grandma during like every single fight in the entire series? <laughs> Dad, stop! You don't have to be a lizard! Oh my Bro. god. Eat it! The chatter predicted it. He's going to eat his son. They put the medicine in the sun. Did you skateboard here? I took a cab. Duh. What the fucking self-respecting taxi driver let a child alone into a car? It's New York. It's New York. Yeah. <laughs> they got lizards fighting spiders. Okay, man. It's a crazy world. <laughs> lizards fighting spiders. That is a funny way to put it, but it's literally what's happening. Guaranteed to remove your toughest stains. Grease, mustard, even lizard DNA. He's doing a fucking like Mr. Clean ad right now. <laughs> It's gonna take away his arm though, right? Yeah. Damn. Pictures and everything. But who could have taken these? Check the byline. Peter Parker XD. I'm not exactly in a position to throw stones. He doesn't have an arm, so he can't throw stones. But he could still eat his son. It's not too late. You're fired. White boy takes his first L, bro. Never knew it would mean a bashed up hand, a hard 9 p.m. curfew. 9 p.m. It got pushed back. It was all just a twist of fate. Bad luck, a random bug bite. Is he gonna try it? Except I saved him. I'm Uncle Ben. I'm the guy from the Rice Box, and I don't want you to do that. I didn't fight for the Confederates, so you could put the out. <laughs> Spidey stays because Spidey's needed. For now, anyway. Is he gonna turn evil like on some My Hero Academia shit towards the end of the series or something? I mean, that's basically the Venom arc in a nutshell. Job done. Forget the hat. Put on the suit. Bro, look at this look at the shape guy's of head. His head. It's a peanut. You're talking about the cowboy. I'm talking about the guy with the slick back over there whose head is a literal rectangle. Dude, I get spider bites every night hoping that it becomes Spider-Man, but I just get fucking ill. My penis just doesn't work. So I don't, I don't like what- Aunt May, I'm not decent. <laughs> All right, calm down. Don't worry, Peter. Let me have a look. I'll do my best, but- uh... He's still here? What do you want, a medal? Get out! Out! <laughs> oh my God, he unhinged the, the fucking dog. I'm Betty. So, Betty, how do you work for a walking embolism like Jameson? Oh, he's trying to raise her up. Oh no. See you soon, Peter Parker. <laughs> he definitely had a little more Riz than Tobey Maguire, though. I'll give him that. He has a lot more personality. No sweat. Oh. Don't want anything to happen to this. Ew. Bro just put that shit right on his balls. <laughs> like, what the hell? I mean, that is the equivalent of, like, when girls, like, pull something out of their cleavage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically the same thing. Boob sweat is like seasoning, you know what I mean? Like, I want that on my meal. Ball sweat is different. Ball sweat is the meal unto itself. <laughs> I reckon that came as a bit of a shocker, eh, bug? You know who he looks like? He looks like the fucking bee guy from Johnny Tess. <laughs> Care for some honey bunches, Peter? 
Hold still, son, so I can put you out of your misery. That's the cowboy. That's the cowboy because early in the season, you saw that the cowboy had a suit and he also has a cowboy accent. So I just theorized that that's the cowboy. I am a genius. Like the part where we saw them like take out the costume like in front of him. No, no, that yes, but no. I guess clothes do make the man. What is this villain called? Shocker? His name is Shocker? We already have Electro. Why do we need another electric themed villain? Vibrator mode, activate. Oh, impressive. You could hire yourself out as a kitty ride. Uh, that's not where my brain went. Oh my god, I love hydraulic press videos. Yes. We did every item on the planet. Now we just kill humans with it. I'm alive. Oh, and I reek. Oh, like Indiana Jones. Line up. <laughs> oh. They smell like dweeb. I can't handle you, Parker. Peter, throw me the ball. <sighs> <laughs> Bro, this guy can't catch a break. Hit the showers. <laughs> yeah, for all our sakes. Dude, this is literally a nightmare. This is when you have a nightmare that you go to school smelling like <laughs> shit and everything is terrible. You want to be a bugle freelancer? You take that check and invest in a serious camp. Bro, I think you're missing the bottom half of your tie. Hold off on the gas bill? Can you hold off on your fucking cancer treatment for one more week, Aunt May? I want to buy this new camera. Oh, man. Harry. I totally blew me off, Pete. Oh, my no, God. I'm his life sucks so much right now. Well, this is the beginning because his life has to suck. To be honest, based on my knowledge of the comics, his life doesn't really get better. Really? It kind of just sucks. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that. That's a refreshing change. <laughs> the new camera should make Robbie happy. And, of course, if I happen to run into Miss Br... Betty. Oh, hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. I was just about to chow down on this dog. I was just I was just about to enjoy this shaboinga boing boing. Have you ever had a shaboinga loing doing? I was just about to throw it down this glizzy. Your fall formal? Yeah, at my high school in the gymnasium. Please say no, please. So, is that deafening silence a yes? <laughs> it's just a dance, a you know, little rock and roll. No, she dropped no! her hot dog. No, it's no. still good. It's still good. Pick it up. It's still it. good. Five it's second still rule. Good. It's been five seconds. Eat it. She didn't pick Bitch! it up. What it's the fuck? If she still ate the hot dog after that, she would have been the best girl in this show. Here, shocky, shocky, shocky. Dude, you know he was just standing there for 25 minutes. When Spider-Man shows up, I'm going to look so cool. Yeah, whenever he shows up, <laughs> whenever it happens, I'm going to look so cool. There's something about these like late 2000s, early 2010s cartoons like Mystery Inc. and this one that just makes CGI not look bad somehow. You do this for a living? <laughs> With that accent, I was thinking rodeo clown. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, I like Peter. He's mocking the fucking country ass accent, brother. I understand this is like a Marvel cartoon and whatnot, but this seems a little excessive. I mean, he literally destroyed an entire auditorium deliberately in order to defeat this guy. This does look like a historic building, too. That shit was probably built in like the fucking 1900s. This was like a protected house. Pete abandoned me. Flash's crowd won't cut me a break. Enough. You're parked in a no whining zone. You're parked in a no whining zone. Stop being a pussy. What a great father. This is what happens when you have Andrew Tate for a father. And he tells you depression isn't real, son. Do what you have to do. Thanks. I will. He is so going to be evil. Oh my god. Well, yeah, this is this is the Green Goblin family. Meeting. We would like to hire you to create more, well, let's call them... Super villains. What's in it for me? This guy's fucking head, man. Like he looks like he's in a My Chemical Romance music video. He looks like one of the instruments. His name is Hammerhead. <laughs> That's why his head is like that. Oh my god. Kid still needs a new camera. <gasps> he chose money. Aunt May, we need to eat food this week. Surviving is better than a camera. <laughs> Aunt May, I'm really hungry. Rock soup is not gonna cut it this week. Uh, uh, you know what that sounds like? It sounds like what you do when you're singing along to a song and you know like three words in the song, so you're yeah, like, yeah. Spectacular Spider Man. Uh, I put, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> uh, just a second, May. I, I gotta straighten up a bit. 
What does she think is happening? It keeps starting with, M.A., I'm jerking off. You can't enter the room. Like, it keeps, <laughs> this the past two episodes have been there. You can stay out until 10 and call if you're going to be late. What's that? I thought she was insulting his face. <laughs> like his little pog face he made. What's that? What's that disgusting smile on your face? I know I didn't give you those shitty genetics. Why not ask Anna Watson's niece, Mary Jane? This wonderful personality? <laughs> Bro, he should take his aunt to the gala. No. That would be so cool if he brought his guardian to the school dance. <laughs> I'm here with my two best friends and neither's talking to me. Should I change seats? He's got to eat that orange, man. He's busy. The Midtown Mustangs will be holding three days of tryouts starting this afternoon. <laughs> Perfect. Finish peeling the orange. You're making me very angry. The words catastrophic bone breakage do come to mind here. Where'd the orange go? Dude, where did the orange peel go? The orange repealed itself. This is a magic orange. The magic fucking orange. <laughs> she, she ate the orange peel. Marco. Relax. His head keeps getting longer. <laughs> Every day it grows. Well, he's literally drawn with like that kind of old, like the New Yorker caricature kind of yeah. art style. He has sticky hands. Can't well, he's probably not cheating because he wants his friend to get on the team, not ah. him. He's just there for moral support. Hello? Whoa. They censored his cock with a glare. What the hell? Dude, the way he can he's contorting right now is awesome. I really like the animation of the sand. Hey, Mr. Sandman. Chill. Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Listen, you little nobody. Hey, Flint Marco was a nobody, but everyone will know the name Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> he gives him a crazy superpower, instantly goes against Bruh, him. Yeah, I love he's instantly is like, I'm just here for the doge, to be honest. What just happened? I have it. Sandman happened. It's kind of cool the way it's animated. There's like a static effect on the sand. You know, it really makes you feel like there's sand on the screen. It makes you feel like you're chilling on a beach, but there's like a buff guy beating you up. It really makes you feel like you're getting sand stuck in your booty cheeks. Dude, this is fucking Rock Lee versus Gara, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. This is Actually fucking true. Rock Lee versus Gara. That's what we're watching right now. The big man did this to me to get to you. The big man? Bro, take off your ankle weight, Spider Man. Nice moves yesterday. Heard it's down to you, Harry, and Hobie Brown. Good luck. Oh, she's back. I can't believe Peter has a fucking Latina like that. Like, that's crazy. Dude, that sacks, man. What the fuck? Holy shit. As Peter's like rising up the entire fucking cheerleading squad, Sandman is just murdering people. That's what they call the wall of equivalent exchange. This was my dream, Pete. You're already the smartest kid in school. You really need this too? Wait, we thought that <laughs> earlier on that Peter was gonna like let his friend get it, but now he's just fucking over his friend. He didn't even want this from the start. I'm not gonna lie, Peter has a shit life, but sometimes it's just the consequences of his own bad actions. I asked Miss Brandt from the Bugle. Wow, that's great. Um, you don't actually call her Miss Brandt in person, do you? <laughs> I know it already. The Latina's gonna ask him out straight up. He's gonna go with her, and Gwen's gonna be like, boo-hoo, I'm sad because I'm a fucking fem cell and I can't she wants land the, the she wants no the Spider Man. Femoid wants <laughs> the Femoid wants the Peter Pecker, but he can't fucking get it. God damn it, bro. God damn it. Spider-Man's gonna die what? in this one that was so stupid. I was, I literally shit myself preemptively, so I'm gonna need to clean that up. He shit himself preemptively. Wow, who knew being super rich was so tough? Yeah. <laughs> what a line, oh. what a line, what a line. <laughs> Oops, sorry. She looks so shocked. What do you think? Come on, Harry, take me home. Bro, real time. C There's so much cucking in this there show. There is so much fucking cucking. In Specifically, so many jocks getting cucked. This show was written by a nerd with a vendetta, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he was written by that one nerd from that meme. The girl goes with the sexy guy instead. King Sandman reigns supreme. Your majesty. <laughs> I like it. Allow me to build a statue in your honor. Core, you love statues. Michelangelo? 
Eat your heart out. He just encased the man in cement. That's like horrifying. Yeah, that's like awful. What the hell? This is like Sims 3 music right now. This is when you're choosing which part of the city yes. you're gonna live in. Yes, you're loading into the city. This is the kind of fucking music. This is amazing. Hmm, I guess yesterday was just beginner's luck. I only fuck men who are this good at football. So Harry gets his dream. Whoa. And I watch from the sidelines. Ice cream? I watch from the sidelines with this dumb bitch who keeps following me around. I can't recognize the fact that she likes me. I'm just gonna be an idiot for 30 more episodes. You will never be able to remove it. But it's tough, right, Doc? Indeed. <laughs> Dude, he's so brain dead. But it's it will be good for me, right? Is it me? Or is your boy trying to talk my boy out of this? Hammerhead has the head of like Pericles from uh, Mystery <laughs> Inc. I need super mercenaries I can mass produce. No matter how many thugs we have to go through. What's the name of the scientist guy? Dr. Octopus. I actually like that in contrast to like the first Spider-Man movie that we recently watched. It's like because they're taking their time with a lot of these villains, we kind of just see what they're like more prior to them doing all their evil shit, which just makes them way more enticing later on, I imagine. Making him unstoppable. The good doctor has his quirks. The good doctor. I am, am Spider-Man. tentacle arms. I am have tentacle <laughs> arms. He looks so dorky. He looks like he ate like a Zoan fruit in one piece, like the fucking giraffe yeah, he or whatever. This is the MJ episode? This is the drug PSA episode of Spider-Man. Harry gets into his father's coke stash and is like, Yo, Pete, you wanna... You wanna sniff? Bro, what the fuck? This is sick. He's, yo, he's yo, surfing. that's actually that's badass. That's awesome. What? Play, play the fucking Sonic Adventure music. When you're 70 and I'm 66, I'll seem quite the catch. <laughs> All right, I'll think about it. He's gonna get a 20 year old in high school. That's fucking crazy. He'll certainly be the talk of the goddamn school. He'll never school get bullied again. He bro. manages like, to he, do that. He's got rich. But she won't go to prison because of double standards in our society. Miss Brand, I'm May Parker, Peter's aunt. Might I buy you a cup of coffee? Yikes. Like, as a 20-year-old woman, what are you doing with your life that you even entertain the idea of a 16-year-old asking you to a high school dance, and then additionally, now you are having to talk to his oh. aunt? Like, can you get any this is lower? Getting so weird. This is cringe. Bet you show up without any date, or you don't show up at all. Well, I'll take that bet. Loser dresses as a cheerleader for Halloween. Oh my fucking god, Peter. Oh no. You underestimated your fucking senile aunt who went to ask your date, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. This is a reference to the funny show Evangelion. Parker, the photographer? Oh, never met the guy. I do appreciate this. Jameson is a scumbag, but he looks out for his employee. Okay, yeah. okay. Is he doing it because he's trying to protect him? Or is he doing it because Aunt May and him, similar age, he's a little lonely? I really thought you were going to say, is he doing it because he wants to keep making money off of Peter? But no, he's just trying to riz up Aunt May. It's for your own safety, pickle puss. Aunt May literally you said you're too old for him. Let your son get a fucking W, man. I don't no, know. No, that's not a W. He's a victim. Is he the victim if he's like yes, risen yes, her up for yes, like a week? Yes. I mean, if you think about it, if she ends up in prison, that'd be yet another criminal Spider-Man's put in jail. True. What the fuck did you just <laughs> say? What? Attention, Rhino. Light Yagami? Anime? Why does he have anime hair? Gotta lure Rawhide someplace deserted. <laughs> Taking a shower. Free shower, dude. What's the matter? Mouth a little dry? I just hate to be living in an apartment in this sector. Your shit's gonna be fucked up for the next week. No, like literally the last few episodes, the way he solves his problems is by destroying <laughs> infrastructure. They're keeping the property value down. Oh, he's fighting super villains and gentrification at the same time. A noble cause. He's fighting the real <laughs> fight. Come one, come all. Before your very eyes, the world's largest dehydrated turtle. Wait, so I have a question. Why can Spider-Man take the heat, but he can't? he's covered in the suit. So he can't oh. sweat, so he can't maintain his oh. heat very well. Bro, what the this is fuck is up. happening? Tell mama, who's the big man? Call him 
Mr. Lincoln. That's a 16 year old just looking at the life leave someone's eyes and taunting him. He coated someone living in cement in the last episode. This kid He's is fucked up. This unhinged. kid is fucked up. Boys will be boys. <laughs> we gotta embrace our youth here. There's nothing to trace them back to Oscorp or myself. Tell that to Dr. Octavius. His name isn't Dr. Octopus, you lied to me. Oh, yeah, fucking shut up. <laughs> and I have a date to tonight's fall formal with one of the hottest Harry, girls in- Harry, can't you see I'm in a meeting? Can't you see that I hate yeah. you and I never wanted you and you were a mistake and I hate my child? Now get so out of my room. Didn't mean to interrupt. What the hell? Evil what? stare? Uh, what, evil uh, look? You think I'm weird? Oh, no, you're not weird, Peter. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird. It, no. Fuck you, Aunt May. Cock block. Do you know anything about a Mr. Lincoln? A 16th president? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I laugh so hard at that? It's not that funny. Lincoln looks a little odd, but he's one of the good guys. A true philanthropist. Straight as he come. Not even the least bit homosexual. I'm here to see Mr. Lincoln. Oh my goodness, he's so Ooh. blue. He looks like a Simpsons character. He's Fishman Island, bro. Looks like a shark tail. Don't move. Just listen. Bro, Keith David needs to stick his fucking beautiful voice in my ear, bro. Put that tongue right down, bro. Holy fucking moly. I'll even pay you. All you have to remember is to look the other way on occasion. Oh, he's gonna turn evil. Yay. Yay, evil Spider-Man. I can't ever look the other way again. Let's finish this. <sighs> That's the equivalent of streamers getting us gambling sponsorships. Sweet Mary Jane is on her way over. Miss Wonderful Personality? <laughs> Wonderful Personality? You can't deal with the personality. You plan this? Aunt May, you're an evil mastermind. Aunt May is, I thought she was a cock block, but really like. <laughs> Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Spider Riz, Spider Riz. Yeah, what the? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Present and accounted for. Is this the first appearance of Green Goblin? Yeah, when did he become the Goblin? Yeah, I'm confused. I feel like we missed something. Living on the edge, Living on the edge I can't take much more. My life sucks. Dude, did you see that? He straight up went finger guns on that guy. <laughs> he fucking finger blasted that I love the Green Don't Goblin. Don't use that wording. <laughs> Oh, earlier tonight. Oh, yeah, this is the dance. Isn't that a requirement for, like, every school dance to have a sh DJ? Nah, dude, my DJ was awesome, bro. He played Little Nas No, X. he wasn't, Eden. He you played to us. Old Town Road. Seven times in a row. The best restaurant in town. My treat. Osborne, you're the man. He's just buying his friends. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Why is this the music that they played? <laughs> That's like the new Riz music they got to use on TikTok. My son, Air Force Colonel John Jameson. John's piloting his first mission on the space shuttle next week. Oh yeah, shit. This is setting up for Venom. Venom, Venom. It all ties together. She is all over Peter. Do, do you think Aunt May paid Mary Jane to go with Peter? Like, this, is like a, <laughs> this is like an escort service right now. She slipped her a 50. But at least she's non-fictional. So I guess you win the bet. He was so ahead of his time, bro, because the people be bringing body pillows to their prom, like. I I know I was a jerk, but but I'm really sorry. No, the fat guy's getting back with her. He's not even wearing a suit. He's wearing a fucking t-shirt. Oh, is he? Does he become the Green Goblin first? No, he becomes the purple guy. Is that Mr. Osborne's tech flight glider? So what we learned is that Spider-Man should have caught Harry during the football practice episode and not made him like inflate his ego. He needed to know his place. Yes. Basically. Yes. I like that it made a little sound. <laughs> Did he put like a voice chip in every bomb? That's so expensive. Oh, only a billionaire could become the Green Goblin. I am looking for the big man. Sir. I don't know who you are, but have you seen the obesity rates in America? A lot of people fit that description. I'll cover the story myself and save a few bucks, but get me Parker. 
This is right up his freak show alley. I'm just realizing the Green Goblin is basically if Joker was Batman. No, you're right. That's actually a really good description because he's like, yeah, he's just rich. He's just fucking rich. The taps from a thrift store on 22nd. You and I so need to hang. What? What? You and I so need to hang. I need more black friends, so like that'd be <laughs> fucking great if we hung out. I've been really checking my privilege recently, and I've noticed my friend group isn't very diverse. So I've dumped all the whiteies uh, in with the others. Yay! The others. The others. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the others. I got rid of all my normal friends. <laughs> normal. Like I, I won't be gone long, Red. I promise. Ooh, ditched by the king of the geeks. Dude, people in cartoons do the funniest fucking bullying on the planet. It's amazing. I guess I'll dance with... It's Randy, right? Very. What the fuck? She just stole her gun. This is like the most for the street school ever. <laughs> Everybody in this school lacks the most basic morals and principles imaginable. Mary Jane's the best character in the show. She is just fucking unhinged so far. Like, it, it seems like she's doing everything just because it entertains her specifically. We could rule New York. We talking Manhattan or all five? Nah. At a certain point, you're gay, okay? You do not talk that much before a fight. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. Leave now? When table seven needs more hors d'oeuvres? Peter's fucking <laughs> funny. I'm not even Those jokes are so mid, but they're kind of funny. That's like the comfort of all of Spider-Man, because like none of them are like super funny, but it's just he's confident enough to say this shit while fighting. I, I would love to see like an iteration of Spider-Man where we see him like practicing his comedy. He starts going to open mic nights and stuff. I'll be back in a New York minute. Who's more powerful, Green Goblin or Kermit the Frog? Kermit has more influence over the youth. Mm -hmm. Green Goblin is just kind of powerful with money, you know? Kermit has like a lot of like deep, dark connections behind the scenes. Dude, what the fuck is this show's boner for the same goddamn construction site? They're, They're never, never going to finish, finish this building. building. This. How's man surviving that? And yet that's like literally how he killed Gwen. Who's Gwen? <laughs> are you talking about the, what's his name again? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Cause Gwen and, uh, I don't know the name of the actor, the Arnold, Arthur. Arnold? What are you talking, We're Gwen's just a character. I know who Gwen is in this show, but you're talking about the Gwen dying. That Andrew Garfield, that guy, you're talking about the Andrew Garfield movie? And it, well, it happens in the comic. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Thank you for spoiling the comics for me. Okay, thank you. Or maybe evacuate before the goblin's bomb goes off. Clear the room! Chad is now spamming Aunt Arnold Arthur Garfield. <laughs> Andrew. Oh, you're trying to say Andrew Garfield. You're fucking insane. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, Mondays, am I right? Imagine he like overshot that a little bit, just blows up an entire like children's orphanage on the top floor. I was imagining if there's like a plane like mid. <laughs> Where is Osborne anyway? Is this like a metaphor for like high school students getting addicted to drugs? I saved the last dance for you, Tiger. Stop calling him Tiger, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> no, what a corny. This is corny. <laughs> this is so corny. <laughs> That looks like a Lambo. I would like to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the Lambo that I wanted to drive. What the fuck? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, whoa, what's whoa, going on? What the, is he a matchmaker too? Dude, he set up Scott the Waz with the hottest bitch in the land, man. I'm so proud of him. For the animation of him crawling that building was really funny. He was going up so quickly. Just get in here? Wait, they're just like dating now? Are they like- No, no, she was just there already. She just made friends with everybody there and now she hangs out with them. Down! What if they find out he's drinking the green? They're like, dude, why didn't you just do steroids like everyone else? Yeah, everyone else on the team has been doing it since freshman year, man. He's drinking the Gronk juice, bro. The, the fucking monster Gronk juice. It's fucking powerful. How do you think he got rizzed up by... <laughs> I'm so done. No, editor. Cut that out. Don't even fucking Cut include that, that shit anymore. I'm so over. Why do I keep saying that? Dude, help Cut... me. Help me. Please help me. <laughs> I come here to get away from Twitter. Don't make me get rid of... Oh, oh Davius. 
Are you in there? The way this show builds up all the villains is amazing because you don't know who the next villain is going to be because there's so many villains brewing in the background. You know what I mean? Yeah, just like Moses. Yeah, it's like very biblical. <laughs> God damn it. We were both going for the <laughs> same fucking thing. Please, you have to stop. I'm inside. Dude, I feel so bad. Bro. He's like the nicest villain in the show so far. He's like the only person with morals. Yeah, like he would he would kill like the innocent child, but he'd say sorry for it. He doesn't want to do it, but he has to, you know? Bro, this is the fucking founding Titan type shit. What is going on right this now? This is insane. Jesus, it's so- That's an attack on Titan transformation right there. You saw that shit with the light? Otto Octavius was weak. Call me. Dr. Octopus. Oh, he is Dr. Octopus. I'm gonna kill you. You were right. No, because earlier Jack was like, his name's Dr. Octopus, but then his name was literally Dr. Octavius in the show. So I said, Jack, shut up. His name's Dr. Octavius, not Dr. Octopus. But now I found out that his name is actually Did Dr. Octopus. Did you say this in like one sentence or less? So your obituary will have to be written another day. No, you're supposed to put him in the jar, not hit him with it. Game wipe me out, that's all. So you took a cat nap on the cement? The cokehead lies to get out of the intervention. Bro, he's just about to start asking Gwen, yo, can you lend me like $10? I'll pay you back, I promise. Like 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30, 30, 30 bucks. No more yes, Mr. Osborne. I'm sorry, Mr. Osborne. Please, Mr. Osborne. Please let me come, Mr. Osborne. What? But first, I require a source of power that will not abandon me mid-battle. The shitty part about Dr. O Octopus is that he didn't even have like a cool quitting moment. The big problem is that he's an octopus, but he only has four tentacles. Well, he has four tentacles and then four limbs. Dude, you're so true. You're so true. Four plus four. Four plus four, dude, that's eight. No fucking way. He's so excited about the number eight. <laughs> that's your mask. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Is it me, or is this awkward? They're cocking each other. This is weird. Is this me, or are we cocking each other right now? Love the new look. Hand over the device. I'm thinking, no. It looks like a fucking film reel. <laughs> what is it, actually? I forgot. It's the power stores. Where can you hide? Wait, if he has fans like that, why doesn't he just fly? I don't think that would be able to generate enough power to lift his body weight. <laughs> he ditched her. He jumped over her friend. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks for the company. Love to stay, but I've got a doctor's appointment. He's got a doctor's appointment. Why the fuck is he so funny? Why is everything a fucking joke to this guy? How about you take something serious in your life for once? Oh, you sweet talker, you. That was a really good attack, Spider-Man. <laughs> that seemed to do a lot of damage to him. That was one of my favorite Spider-Man attacks. Whoa. That was cool. But I think it would have been better if he like spun around him and was throwing candy apples at him at the same time. Don't worry, Spidey. I got your back. No. Why'd you save it? Let him die. Appreciate the help, fanboy. But uh, keep clear. You're not pretty enough to save twice. Right. Right. Smack him one for me. You know, at least he <laughs> did try to do something. If Spider-Man called me fanboy, bro, I'd be touching my chum chum all night. That's all I'm saying. You won't get the chance to use it. Not as long as I'm conscious. A situation easily remedied. Bro, they've got some good improv chemistry. That's why I'm saying it's like almost romantic how quickly he gets along with the villains. Oh my goodness, his cock light came cock in handy. Light. He literally flashed them to save the day. They're breaking up. Flash Thompson and Liz Allen, Midtown's number one power couple. They were the number one power couple since when? They've been cheating on each other the whole series. We really need to talk to Harry. I'm worried about him. <sighs> Ugh, that fucking dweeb. But the goblin is a common enemy. Oh my goodness, is he, is he gonna kill his own son? That would be hilarious. There's a lot of son killing. Like, the lizard guy almost killed his son. Now we get Norman gonna kill his son. Lizzie almost killed baby Grok. Twas the night before Halloween. Prediction? Peter's gonna dress up as Spider-Man to the Halloween party, bro. Plus, this year, my astronaut costume rocks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The timing on that line delivery is not good. Oh, wait, it rocks. I know, bro. That's what I'm fucking saying. It's a little annoying after a while, I'm not gonna lie. Psych! Nah, I was. Nah, I'm just kidding. 
keep laughing, Kermit. <laughs> he always does call him Kermit. A man like you must surely have acquired life insurance. Dude, you know what I just realized? He kind of looks like Giovanni. Yeah. What's that, Harry? Nothing. New soda. Then you won't mind giving me a sip. No! <laughs> 4.0 GPA, football stud, in crowd, all thanks to the green. Yo, that went hard as hell, though, when he put up the drink to his eye, and then he had the goblin eye there for a second. That was fucking fire right there. The drives in little old Gobby's possession now. <laughs> Ah, I don't have it on me. I don't have that gat on me, sir. Where can I get that gat? Stop. Stop. Twitter is gonna hate us, dude. Twitter is gonna I fucking hate, hate you. us. Bro. I hate you. Fork it over. I'll take you both in. Ah, 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 I don't have it on me. <laughs> he keeps saying it. Why does he ah, keep ah. saying it? That's so funny. Whoa. I'm coming here for years and I've never seen that door before. That's so funny that he thinks it's Norman. I actually don't know. Is Norman also going to be Green Goblin in this show? Or is it just Harry? Stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. Go, Mustang! <laughs> Hell yeah. You as dangerous as you look? Wouldn't you like to know? This is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> but he's rocking it. He's ro the colored hair. I respect this man so much. I ship it. There it is! It's landing! Yes! That is not how you land a spaceship. You land it oh, in the fucking ocean. Oh, then you fucking land ocean. a spaceship, bro. They don't just you land, land it on a spaceship. runway like a plane. Do they do that? But what, what do I do with? Sell them to the globe for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> This place has the worst security oh, known to God, man. man. It's literally every single episode that someone breaks in and steals some shit. Where are you? Pete? Nice costume, huh? Bro! I predicted that, bro. Man jumped off of the fucking building and played it off like it was no thing. You fill out that costume nicely. Very nicely. You can web me up anytime, Petey. Bro! Bro! She said you can web bro. me up bro. anytime! No way she, she wants said... to fuck him! This has <laughs> literally become a harem anime. Green Goblin. Animation! Well, I fucking really love it when good. backgrounds move in context with the characters in the foreground. Yes! Next time you throw a bash, Gobby, leave out snacks. Your guests will stay longer. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way you just said that, bro. The skirt's cool. I know you lost a bet, but you made the best of it. Whoa. She, she is for the streets. I'm sorry. Like. Whoa. Pom poms to yourself, big guy. Wait. I like you, but. I won't be a replacement, girl. Never mind. Hell She's yeah. not for the streets. She's for the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Did the Green Goblin direct a Johnny test? We need a game theory on that one because he loves sound effects. Eden, that's insane because Harry Osborne is voiced by the voice of Johnny Test. So then he becomes Green Goblin and then he becomes Johnny Test. Holy shit. Yeah, Spider wheel, big wheel appearance. <laughs> that was so funny the way he got him. Did you see that? He had a family guy moment. He grabbed his leg and was like, ah. Go ahead, run. I know where you live. That's insane. Bro, that's hard. That's as insane. Fuck. He fucking docks the green goblin. Where did this come from? Dad, I can. What is it? Globulin green. <laughs> Gabagool, gabagish. <laughs> For you. What? Oh. No, he's like actually evil now. Bro. No. This is the watching Andrew Tate ending. Dude, this is what makes this show so good is the fact that we became like emotionally attached to the character prior to them becoming a villain. So like the whole scene is a hundred times more engaging. I've had dealings with the big man, but when I tried to extricate myself, I was threatened by his stooge. Hammerhead. Dude, the politics. There's so Bro. many different layers to this. This is so good. The goblin disappears forever, leaving a mystery that never gets solved. Dude, this is why you don't do this. You can't let your personal relationships intrude with your superheroing, bro. Their Spider Man scoop and Parker's pictures of it slaughtered our spatial coverage at the newsstands. Yo, <laughs> dude, Peter's gonna get paid. Get that traitor Parker in here and lock him to an exclusive deal. He gets the exclusive Damn. deal. He's making bank. Aunt May, we're not struggling with bills anymore. From the bottom to the top, Drake. Midtown's theater magnet accepted me. 
I wanted to tell you last night, but you disappeared. Her hair doesn't look real. Like, it looks like she's bald underneath. Harry's taking a leave of absence from school to travel abroad. To travel abroad. Yeah, all right. Bro's going to fucking rehab. That's what's happening. <laughs> yep, back on solid ground. <laughs> Oh, there it, is. there it is. Oh my god, it's Venom. Venom, Venom. It's the Venom juice. That dark patch is extraterrestrial life. Oh, they're introducing Venom into the show now. Oh my goodness. They're about to introduce fucking Eminem. Where is he? Or, oh, there he is. I stop a crime in progress, get pictures for the bugle of me and a hot cat burglar. Oh, <laughs> wowzers. He really settled in on that. Hot. I just feel like if you are the type of organization that has the access to the only extraterrestrial life in the entire world, they don't even have a fucking security guard standing in <laughs> yeah, front of it. Yeah, there's no like, one. Are there even fucking cameras monitoring this? You better not get your goop in my hair. Don't worry. It comes off with ice or peanut butter. <laughs> Lovely. Bro, you said it comes off with ice and peanut butter. A certain captain of industry offered an indecent amount of cash to steal that slime. Inde there's a lot of sexual tension in the specific word selection in their dialogue here. So what do you say, hot stuff? Want a slice of the mud pie? How much older is she than Spider-Man? Her voice just sounds like so deep and raspy. Like she sounds like a 27 year old since <laughs> Spider-Man's still in high school, bro. You want to know Black Cat's true identity? Aunt May. She must have, but how, when? Call the cops. Wait, but didn't it grab him? Wasn't it attached to his body? He didn't see it. He never even got a good look at the gun. Wait, so does he turn into- I've never- I don't know how Spider-Man works. I've never seen a <laughs> I don't know how Spider-Man works. Did you not see Spider-Man 3? No, but I've seen Venom 2, the movie. That's the only thing Venom oh related. Oh my god, that's the only- <laughs> I, Now you understand why I fucking hate Marvel, dude. People invite me to watch the shitty Marvel movies, okay? Spider-Man must be quite confused right about now. What? What? <laughs> what? I'm confused right now. <laughs> what? what? Uh, excuse me? He's a fucking driving test dummy. Spidey saved him from a permanent case of lizard breath. I mean, how could he betray the old webhead that way? Spider now he's gonna listen to the Spider-Verse soundtrack and go fucking hard. Can he say it? Well, Venom also, it like corrupts your brain. It makes you kind of like evil. So he definitely would say it. Like it doesn't even matter if he can, he would say it. Yeah, like the intrusive thoughts take over and he starts listening to like rap music, the most evil sort of music. <laughs> you didn't steal the ooze, did you? <laughs> you know I didn't, short, dark, and handsome. Short, dark, and handsome. What? Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on right now? That's what I call Cor's penis. Short? No. Eddie and I lost our parents in a plane just like that. The year was 9-11. Wait, that's not a year. The date- <laughs> That's not a year. What? That's Wait, I have year. brain damage. Never mind. Venom's <laughs> getting to me. The year was 911 <laughs> CE. I don't quite understand how this is very different from just regular spider webs. It's like a little upgrade. It like makes them a little bit more powerful. Oh, Peter, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to frighten you. I popped a couple too many pills, Peter. She mixed up one of those like old people like pill containers that have a pill like every day. She took all of them at once. Your friendly neighborhood web shooters in a frisky mood. Wait, I don't think this is Spider-Man, guys. I have an intense theory. I think the black cat is dressed up as Spider-Man. The black it's chameleon. Not the we chameleon? Already... No, no, no. The black cat. Doesn't that imposter know black is the new red and blue? Yeah, I turn him black and blue. Oh, you can turn me black and blue. What? <laughs> you can beat the fuck out of me until I'm bruised? <laughs> She's into that kinky shit. I've seen Spider-Man in action. I can't believe he's turned to crime. Believe it, Stacy! Oh, no. They're on their way to Little St. James, bro. This is... I've been on the ship. I, I haven't been on the ship. I've been on the, <laughs> been on the ship. Oh, my God. I haven't been on the ship. I go way back with all these peeps. Is that Dr. Oscorp? Didn't he get locked up for having a bastard son or something like that? Oh, that's not Dr. Oscorp. That's Dr. Chameleon. Hold on tight. Don't worry, I don't slip. Not why I said that. Bro, their relationship, man. She is coming onto him Ew. so hard. My kitty sense is purring. My kitty sense is purring. Like, she straight up said, my pussy's wet. She didn't. She didn't. She literally, literally said, said that. my pussy's she wet, kindest. Peter. I, I think in the original cut, she did say, my pussy's wet, Peter, but they had to cut it out for the Disney. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? Spider Man, the real one. Spider Man. Spider -Man. You're Spider Man? Spider -Man. I'm Spider Man. Spider -Man.
When we were gonna watch Spectacular Spider-Man, I can't say I was expecting water sports. I was expecting a different kind of water sports, to be honest. What he's doing with Black Cat afterwards is pretty similar. <laughs> so Jack, is squirting real? Is squirting real though? Let's talk about it. How about a taste of spider punch? Please tell me I don't sound like that. Or at least that I offer a higher quality quick. He's roasting his comedy, man. So he has like a voice modulator? He's just really, really good at doing impressions. Like, can you do Peter Griffin next? I'm satisfied you're innocent, Spider-Man. We'll find out what Chameleon did with the E.T. But why are you black now? Also, the police force are a little iffy of supporting you. And you need its power to help people. It's corrupting his mind. What the scallop? Captain Stacy, the tiger, it's not here. That is such an extreme reaction, Relax. Oh my God. Black Cat was in the BDSM the whole time. We were right. Black Cat is just Rouge the Bat, I'm realizing. Like a less hot Rouge the Bat. Don't say a less hot Rouge the Bat when this is, is a normal is right. woman and the other one is a bat. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. I'm going ham. What the Sheesh. fuck was that? Cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Something I realized, like, these superheroes always get in these, like, kinky relationships, but they're wearing, like, skin-tight costumes. <laughs> you can totally see everything that's happening, right? Yeah. It, it's looking like that Robin and Raven cosplay. <laughs> like, that's what every interaction is. But I just know you'll do great out there. Owe it all to you, Dr. Kafka. Kafka. She about you, though. <laughs> Dude, we have got to chill, man. Yeah. Love the idea of double teaming you know who. What? <laughs> Why is all of the language of this show feel like a double entendre? Literally everything they say. Fuck New York, we're gonna Eiffel Tower <laughs> Spider-Man, Doc Ock. Is this just gonna be like a prisoner therapy episode where like the prisoners that he's arrested have find God, they turn out to be good guys? Something tells me no. I, I think they're gonna say that like rehabilitating prisoners is impossible, so we should just give them all the death oh, sentence. That's True. like a really good message. This show was produced in Texas. This prison fucking sucks ass. All it took was the power to blip for like two seconds and they all broke out. All it took was the power of a giant rhino man in like an indestructible suit. I'm just saying if this is the prison that's going to hold a giant rhino man, maybe they should have some like anti-rhino technology involved. Yeah, I agree. The US prison industrial complex is terrible and we should just destroy it whatsoever. Let the prisoners run free. Maxwell, my dear boy. Uh, Doc? I kind of prefer Electro. I do want to ask a question. This was raised in the comment section on one of the previous videos. How does the rhino shit? Everything's covered. Like, where where does it go? Maybe it comes out, out of his feet. Like, maybe he has a little tube and it goes all the way down to his feet and it just runs out while he's running. I'm feeling a touch peaked. Perhaps I'll stay in. I feel like Aunt May's about to die. I don't think, like, society was ready for the first orphan superhero, so I just don't feel like we're gonna get that. Well, he is, already is an orphan. Both of his parents are dead. No, they just live in Guantanamo Bay, okay? They had a really rough past, made some bad choices. What you need is a taste of your own medicine. Have something you care about taken away. What is he on? What is he saying? Because Peter was there taking pictures when they told him that he couldn't come, and then he didn't call the cops because Curtis Hunter, Spider Man, told him to call the police, and he didn't because it wasn't Curtis Hunter, it was Chameleon Guy. These fuckers pulling up like the Cirque du Soleil. Any last words? Humana, humana, humana comes to mind. Humana, humana, humana comes to mind. You what the fuck? I'll be fine, ma'am. Just get to safety. I'll throw him. I like that they show Doc Ock has like a, a little bit of morals. They show he's a gilf chaser and I can respect that. I can relate to that. Are, are we shipping Dr. Octopus and Aunt May? In one of the comics, Dr. Octopus does marry Aunt May. So <laughs> it could happen in this show. We'll have to see. May? Aunt May's gonna die. She's not gonna die. They're, they're, they're gonna do a long fake out hospital scene where we don't know if she's gonna die. They're gonna let that be in the background for a couple episodes and then she's gonna turn out to be fine, okay? There's no way they actually kill Aunt May. This dog's not too old to learn your tricks. My tech is protected by reinforced steel. Guys, I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure Spider-Man's about to fucking lose. Doesn't look like he's gonna make it out of this one. I hate to admit it, but I can't beat these guys together. Gotta bail. I'm gonna be honest, how does he fly with that reinforced steel? The weight is too much. Yeah. That is the only thing that is unrealistic in this entire cartoon. I draw the That's line of reinforced the line. steel. Head back up. But the spider freak. Maxwell, 
Yeah, Doc. <laughs> yeah, Dad, I'll go upstairs. <laughs> he got sent to time out. He was like, go to the corner, Electro. Well, he is someone I met at the forum. Huh? That fucking fit is awesome. Very Did sad. Black Cat have green eyes or am I tripping? What, Eddie is dating Mary? Eddie's Angel? Black Cat? <laughs> Eddie does have green eyes as well, so Eddie could also be Black Cat. I wish I could just wake up tomorrow with Doc and his merry morons back in jail. Oh my god, I am down bad notorious for this guy right now. Wait, so does he have Venom dreams? Like, he, does he dream? Whoa, 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 was that? I was cool, but crazy. That's some fucking Family Guy CGI right there. It did look like Family Guy CGI. He'll come. He can't help himself. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just like playing with like a human-sized flashlight of Spider-Man? Why is he not reacting whatsoever? Why did you say flashlight? A human-sized flashlight? Like, you mean a person? Whatever you call it, a like a sex doll. doll. A sex doll. He took pictures <laughs> to profit off our boss's pain. What? <laughs> this guy is fucking insane. And he's become rather devious. Wait, so did they just kill the rhino? No one dies in Spider-Man, Eden. You have to understand this. There's a kind of beautiful truth to that. Even when they do die, no one really dies in Spider-Man. Yep. Or comics in general. This is fucking insane. He's 1v6ing them, and he's literally using their bodies to kill each other. This is fucking insane. I don't remember taking this much punishment in Times Square. Bro, look at that picture of him on the desk. He looks like a from. fucking nerd. You no, know, look at the fucking aspect ratio of him and Uncle Ben. It was so stretched out. It looked so bad. I, I don't remember any of this. It's it's like I slept through the, through the whole fight. Why is he being so submissive this time? What happened to that dog in you, Spider-Man? Oh, the Venom's fighting on his own. Oh. Peter's not awake. She had a heart attack last night. She should be okay, but she's in the hospital. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Why would you be here? She's only the woman who raised you. <laughs> Damn, Eddie is on his period right now. I just wish I'd thought to pack you a lunch before this whole heart thing happened. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Average grandma behavior. Your bill's on the second page. He's poor now. Fuck, he's being ruined by the medical bills. Peter. How are you? How's your aunt? Oh, Petey. He's got so many bitches. They literally lined up. They lined up for him. He should just ask them all to pay for the medical bills for him. Like, he's got the limited riz to do that. Well, unless my friends are prepared to pony up some cash, they can keep their help. <laughs> saying that i kind of like this though because the truth is people when they're in like bad situations most of the time are kind of douchebags and it's like the venom is bringing it more out of him which leaves only one question that job offer still on the table oh he needs the money now this is spider-man breaking bad put your dick away peter <laughs> uh, ah, 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 ah. I've been going through some things. The lab can no longer afford to keep you on the payroll. But I need that money. Without it, I'll have to drop out of VSU. This is kind of fun because we see Peter and Eddie's stories are mirroring each other. They're kind of going down very similar paths. Pete's not likely to wise up. I mean... He's still a guy. Um, that's literally misandrist. I cannot support this cartoon anymore. She's right. Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. And Dude, no, you did it backwards. Now oh, you're fuck. being misogynist. I love women. I love women. I love women. But is that all you see them as? Something to love? I hate them. <laughs> you're still a stuck-up egghead. A guy who can't even see when his friends are trying to help. This dude came up to the hospital where his aunt is and still make fun of him? But Flash Thompson gave him, like, good advice, too. Character development? I want I want Flash Thompson to become Spider-Man's sidekick. Spider-Boy. No, 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 no. Move your oops. We will not allow. Oh my goodness, he found God! Don't take medication, just find God. That'll cure my schizophrenia. Instead, you've made us stronger. We shall demonstrate. Is they're gonna crucify him or something? What is going on right now? Oh my god! Peter! 
What the fuck? Uncle Ben's back! I was talking about you, Peter. He's in a funny mood today, this one. This is sad, man. <laughs> Isn't that sad? It's pretty happy. This is not... How is this happy? He's back with his uncle. That's so nice. Dude, do you have, like, the media literacy of a four-year-old or something right now? Oh, he's always in his ice rink in his backyard. He's <laughs> slipping. And, and Uncle Ben will be... Ah, not again. Not again! <laughs> eat it, eat it! You should've eaten it. He would probably get more powers if he ate the spider. Where'd he go? Yoo-hoo! Get down here! That's one option. Scenes of this episode were in Spider-Verse. No fucking way they were in Spider-Verse. That's so cool. The spectacular Spider-Man! Not to be confused with the other Spider-Man or the Amazing Spider-Man. Not to be confused with the Ultimate Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man, the Superior Spider-Man, the Black Spider-Man, the White Supremacist Spider-Man. Not my problem. This is literally what happens in the movie. It's the same fucking thing. Except he's more of an asshole in this one. What the hell? It was you, my dad. What? No, it wasn't my dad. It was the who the fuck is that guy? Why what is it What the familiar? fuck are you talking about? With great power, there must also come great responsibility. Oh. He said it. He said the thing. He said the thing. Take what you took from Ben Parker. <gasps> But he wouldn't approve. Oh, there's a bungee jumping. That's fun. I beg to differ. My son gets lots of pussy, okay? I Here's don't want to hear montage it from you. Of all the pussy that he gets. Black Cat, Mary Jane, J. Jonah Jameson, Mary Jane, Mary Jane. J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> Flash. Oh my god, Eddie, Black Cat. J. Jonah Jameson. Sure you don't want to vacate? Vacate? Where do you think we are? So was this entire fight just a metaphor taking place in his mind right now? Yes. That's badass. Not really. This is what I have to do to like fight myself out of bed every morning, bro. I've the got PNGs so many heads all in me. Entered his body. Oh my god, the PNGs. Venom can't beat the power of Movie Maker. What the fuck is happening? This is kind of badass, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why you guys are being haters. I kind of like this. I did not even say anything. No, because I said also this battle's taking place in his mind. That's awesome. The core's like, it's mid. Well, it's not that crazy compared to fighting. What, at the construction site again? <laughs> I know this must hurt, but we're just no good together. Consider yourself dumped. <laughs> what you've done. You've destroyed my last chance! L. That was a little goofy. You destroyed my last chance! And you're calling to me. Hand. Hand. Do you need a hand, Eddie? Well, he just instantly let it out. Hello? He's having a low moment. That's, you're a scientist, Eddie. What the you fuck was that? Oh my god, he knows Peter is fucking Spider-Man. Oh, he's getting all that information now? No fucking way. This is a crazy season finale, dude. We will have vengeance on Spider-Man! Oh, it's Venom. Does he qualify for, like, additional scholarships now? I take it our deal is off. Kiss him, kiss him. Look at his giant kissable lips. They're so luscious. Keep the light on him. Cause I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you and I'm gonna give you a big smooch on the cheek. It, it appears, appears you have, have a job a opening. opening. We'll take it. Is that Seth Green? Oh my god, that sounded so corny. What are you talking mm. about is that Seth Green? It sounded like Chris Griffin trying to sound scary. All these random motherfuckers entering through his window. He needs to close his windows. Yeah, what the fuck is hap- No one uses his doors ever. He doesn't even have a door. I really should start locking those windows. Oh, he literally said it. Thanks for the reality check. Don't mention it. Whoa. And I mean not to anyone. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Maybe actually he's got a crush on Peter, but he doesn't know how to like express it. And we could use some help holding the big Mustang balloon at the Thanksgiving Day Parade tomorrow. Bro, bro, bro. Oh my God. All the girls. Everyone here wants to f*** Peter. That's okay. Oh, are you going back today? Because I'll go with you. To, to, to the hospital? Oh Literally my God. everyone here wants his to f*** Peter. No, no. He's, he's still my bro. Be careful, Tiger. <laughs> Stop saying Tiger. It's just <laughs> weird. MJ spends a little bit too much time in retirement homes. I'm... I really am sorry. 
Hey! Whoa, that looks kind of weird. It looked like a tomato for a second. So unless your aunt's developed an affinity for hospital food, she can go home tomorrow. Is it just me or this Venom stuff is extremely corny? I think Venom is like one of the less interesting parts about Spider-Man yeah. in general. Yeah, because I feel like it was so cool as a kid. Cause yeah, because he's, like he's most black edgy, like, and edgy and villain. black. And you're like, oh, that's so cool. This is such a mid fight compared to so many other fights that we've seen in the same series. But look, Eddie just shot his goop all over Spider-Man. We know who you are and everyone you care about. He might as well just be like, also, my name is Eddie. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> He can't even read that. He's on the wrong side. Stay away from her. Dude, it'd be crazy if they accidentally destroyed the entire building. All May comes crashing down from the 47th floor. Dude, that would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, fighting on a hospital building is probably not the prime location. Like, there's a lot of people in very sensitive situations inside this building. This is just weird. Like, it doesn't feel like Eddie would do this. Well, that's Venom. Eddie knocked, knocked, and let the devil in. What the fuck was that? It, like, zoomed what in on the What the fuck was that? What that is that? happening? So trippy. My eyes hurt. This is the craziest Macy Day parade I've ever seen in my life. Stop with the zoom-ins. Am I watching Indian fucking reality TV right now? No. Spider sense didn't tingle. It'll be tingling when I shove my tongue up your asshole, Peter. He did not, Eddie would not say that. <laughs> Our parents may have died together, but you had your precious aunt and uncle. We had no one. Okay, and who asked, man? Don't care. The monkey. King Kong was an ape, not a. Gwen! She was making a pog face right there. That was so funny. She was like, oh. Gwen, are you okay? Yeah. I'm all right, I think. She shrugged that off quick. Yeah, I'm okay, I guess. I just almost died like two seconds ago. She fell from like a hundred feet in the air. I like how many people are still standing and watching this. Only a couple people ran away. Like there's so many people in the background just standing and watching. That's what it wants, right? A reunion with its first love. <laughs> The symbiotes found a better partner in me. Me? Not us. Wait! <laughs> Venom literally is like, you suck, Eddie. Peter's way better. You tricked us! The emotions all taste wrong. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. It sounds like fucking Gollum. Your emotions! You tricked us! What was that sound? Why was there a pig dying? Still slow on the uptake, huh? You're a disease. They're the cure. <laughs> I don't need the vaccine. I've got friends. He literally poured him in fucking cement. That's his solution to every problem. <laughs> cement will cover that up. He finds someone like pickpocketing. He just fucking shoves their hand in cement. Dr. Bromwell gave me a ride and made sure I had everything I needed. Oh, Ooh, Dr. Bro. Bromwell's trying to pipe. I feel like there's so much sexual tension in the dialogue, like all the time. Happy Thanksgiving, Peter. Gwen, are, are you all right? Oh, it is Thanksgiving. That was the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, not sponsored by Macy's, but just a general parade that isn't the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Whoa, whoa what publishing company? We're the one publishing my cookbook, dear. Bro, Anme wrote a fucking cookbook. That's what old women do when they don't have a job. Like, what do you expect? But she made money on it. That's the weird oh, part. Oh, really? Yeah. Spider-Man is who I am. My destiny. You don't want to hang on to that, maybe? Like, maybe that would come in handy in the future? Like, maybe that'd be useful the slightest bit? What? This is a children's cartoon. They shouldn't be kissing. That shouldn't be allowed. We shouldn't be showing our children this. I can't handle a little kiss. Even Black Cat didn't induce paralysis. Yeah, the baddest bitch in the land, Black Cat, like a 27-year-old woman, made out with him. We just completely headcanon that she was 27. We don't know that at all. And Black Cat is just Mary Jane with a costume on, okay? That's why they haven't revealed her identity yet. 
Was that a dream? He's having wet dreams about Venom. You seen that tongue? That makes sense for me. <sighs> That's what I get for designing my Spidey suit in the spring. Fun in the sun, not so much in the snow. <laughs> I will do the cooking. <laughs> you guys are poor as fuck. You cannot afford pancakes. Dude, pancakes, pancakes are like the like cheapest incredible. fucking food what the fuck on the does planet. That mean? They're really expensive. Eggs and flour and sugar. They're poor as hell, Corey. You they can't afford eggs. You know when you put your tongue on the side of the ship and it sticks there? Stan oh Lee! And be prepared to define the terms we've learned this semester. Oh my god, they're looking at each other. This is awkward. I want to die. Bro, oh. this is so Pick weird. One. There's too many women. It's a harem anime now. That's what I'm telling you. It actually is. This is ridiculous. Just talk to her. True. Petey! I like her the most, to be honest. I like her more than Gwen and MJ. Why, huh? Because she's mixed just like you? Because she's not white. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, that actually was... Oh. That's the reason I like her, too. <laughs> you dare call Mysterio a magician? The lore of this is just he was a spurned employee of ILM. He got fired by George Lucas and he never let it go. It might be David Blaine. David Blaine fell off. No one goes to see his shows in Vegas anymore. So he went all the way to fucking New York City. Oh my goodness, Spider-Man's gonna die. He's gonna be beheaded like Marie Antoinette. Cold, 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 cold. Okay, that woke me up. What if there was like a Holocaust Spider-Man? Like they do a whole comic? Peter is Jewish. There you is go. Is he? Spider Hanukkah. Spider Hanukkah. Well, it would make sense why the spider would be radioactive, right? Because of the chambers. What the fuck was that joke, Jack? Jesus Christ. Photo by Peter Parker. Huh, very nice. And just one of your many talents. Yeah, I like her the best because she's nice. Because Mary Jane just like is way too forward. She's like chill. She's not a freak. She doesn't talk like a 50 year old woman. And she's not a nerd. She's not a nerd. Doesn't wear glasses like a fucking dweeb. Not a fem cell. You wind up paying attention to one thing when you should be paying attention to another. <laughs> that was I so that smooth. That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. That, literally a show just saying, you're supposed to fuck Gwen, Peter. He's still the brightest student I have. I know Peter, a friend of my son's. This feels like too much like a real conversation. Am I crazy? Like it feels like a real conversation. White nepotism, the scene. Can we talk about this? <laughs> Don't mind me. Just had to get in out of the cold. Just beat his ass. Like, he doesn't have anything. This feels like a Scooby-Doo plot. It does. It does feel like a Scooby-Doo plot. The way he's distracting them. He's gonna say some weird shit like, I discovered that there's a specific scent emanated by the red-spotted chameleon that weakens people's will. Oh, that's summertime plan. Maybe we're watching too much Spectacular Spider-Man, but this show kind of sucks now. I just feel like the action in this episode and the last episode doesn't really feel like it has much stakes. I need like a quarter pounder at least. This doesn't feel like season one. Like the villains in season one were like built up and they were all related. Yeah. This guy is just a goofy little goober who doesn't even like have an explained motivation or anything like that. How does no one see where he lives? He's a giant fart cloud. Can't the police just track him down like easily? By smell alone. Ignore what I see in here and may the spider sense be with me. It's like Star Wars, he has to rely on his senses and cover his eyes and, and then he's gonna go and he's gonna kill all the children just like Anakin and it's gonna be flipping sweet. He also has fucking robot. How rich is this guy? There's so many of them. You know how fucking expensive this shit is? I'll pass. Oh, built-in remote controls. Nice. I mean, I guess it makes sense that, like, the worst villain is, like, the fucking theater kid, right? That tracks. I'm guessing this one has a head. So now you know, it's me. Oh my goodness, that is the worst haircut ever. Oh, it's this guy. It's who? He was with the other pompous type guys earlier. Kurt and Martha Connors want to give you another chance at ESU. What? Peter is the most famous fucking person in this entire goddamn city. He's got billionaires trying to suck his cock. He's got bitches trying to suck. Everybody is going after that Pete Pete. Everybody wants Peter's Peter. Actors. Master planner, it's Tinkerer. Core, you were literally right. The only reason he sucked as a villain was because he was a theater kid. So guys, if you go outside one day and you see a theater kid, make sure to punch them in the face as hard as you can. Do it for Spider-Man. You guys might like the Harley Quinn show someone says in chat. Yeah, we love it. Who's gonna tell him, bro? 
Does this guy have no powers? Yeah, Craven the Hunter is just a crazy jack guy, I'm pretty sure. That's the best kind of, like, super villain. Yeah, his superpower is being Russian. <laughs> That's true. What they leave out is he's fucking pounding back bottles of vodka between every shot. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know lions could love <laughs> like that. Sergey, my love. They're a beautiful couple. Can I just say that? Can I just say that right now? They're a beautiful couple. Another package from our anonymous friend in America. Hmm. Wait, so is he a villain or a good guy? Because he's getting intel about the villains. He's like kind of a villain, but like not in the same way. Like he just loves the hunt. He's just a gamer. Craven is just a gamer. With no spider sense. They're trying to make her look cool. She still looks like a nerd, no matter how cool she dodges the football, I guess. I had the world's best tutor, Petey. Mm. She's the best one. She's the best one, Peter. I don't care about Gwen. Gwen's gonna die anyways. She's dead. She might as well be a walking corpse. Who cares? Where'd you come from? Mother Russia. <laughs> Mother Africa. Two moms and still so ill behaved? The dialogue in that scene literally feels like when you're playing fucking Injustice and the two characters have one dialogue match with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, at the beginning what of the fight. What the hell is that, man? And thrill to a true challenge. Missed? I feel like I'm watching the introduction to like 80s gay porn, right? <laughs> now he's now he's tied up too. You're right, Cor. He's getting on his knees. Uh, I'm just a spider twink. I can't possibly <laughs> handle a man like you. You're a hunter. Don't hunt for my booty, Kravinov. It's, this does feel like role play. Oh, and then the it goes through his legs. Through his oh legs is God. insane. His cock drips down. You're like an uh, unzip sound effect. I feel like this plot is so much less interesting because Craven, by design, has nothing to do with anything. All the other villains are like connected to the overarching stuff. Yeah, the season has started off episodic when no other part of the series was episodic. Like it just took a step down for no reason. What is that? Is it, what? How was he not arrested? He's just walking. I'm as close to adapting Dr. Connor's mutagen to mammalian DNA as I can come. As I can come. <laughs> Shut up. Like, hello? Shut he, up. He, he, paw, he let it up. breathe. Shut he up. He let it breathe. What a magnificent specimen. Yours, I presume? He doesn't even care. He's not even freaking out. He had like no re- It's a fucking guy jumped out with a lion. He's a scientist, Cor. He probably already knows that lions can love like that. Man, I love spectator sports. The thing that I don't understand in the show is what the fuck is Peter thinking? He makes it seem like he's all on the Gwen Stacy train, but then he's like deep thrown in this girl's tongue in front of Gwen Stacy every five seconds. Like, what do you want, bro? Geekitude is contagious. <laughs> I don't mind catching what Petey's got. I don't mind catching what Petey's got. He has crabs. No, Eden, I agree with you, but also that's so realistic because he's a fucking horny teenager. He doesn't know what he wants. Many cute girl like me, I can't decide. Wait, Thompson's down! He did give MJ cancer with his cum in that one comic. What the fuck? And you're a new man. No, not the Garfield juice. Who just gave him fentanyl? Like, he just injected fentanyl and he dies. Call me Craven. Craven, the hunter. Oh my god, this looks so fucking stupid. He looks like a fucking He-Man character. He looks like someone they would draw Tony the Tiger in gay porn with. Chest of the cheetah. He does have a crazy chest, though. I could call you a lot of things. What happened to you? Same has happened to you. So someone in chat said now we can do whatever he wants with his lion. This is more <laughs> Word, moral line. That's disgusting. That's extremely <laughs> disgusting. Chatter, you are fucked up. You're not my first genetic experiment gone wrong. Just the first that smells like a litter box. Wouldn't it have been great if he didn't pour that serum that resets people's genetic composition down the fucking sink? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Please, Petey. I really need you. Oh my goodness, he has to pick between the pussy and the pussy. Oh There's my the pussy God. chasing him and the pussy he's chasing. <laughs> This is giving arcane right now. How is this like arcane in literally any way? It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't be doing that out here. 
<laughs> Dude, it's like it's like you're playing Minecraft PvP and the guy keeps turning around to bow you and then keeps <laughs> running. He turns around to bow you and he keeps running. That's literally me though. That's me playing Minecraft PvP. I know you two aren't exactly close, but if you just sit with me. Sure. Dude, there I love this couple so much more than the other ones. I'm so I'm pissed because I know it's not gonna work. There's every reason to be hopeful, but we won't know how the knee will heal for months. Wow, it's, it's maybe like we should stop glorifying sports where people just smash their heads against each other relentlessly and injure themselves as children. The hunt is not over. Glad to hear it. Is the fish guy fucking controlling Craven now? I guess we'll find out next time on Spectacular Spider-Man. Blackie Gaxton's the man to talk to. So talk, Blackie. <laughs> I need that out of context. Take it, put it on Twitter, send it everywhere. What was it? He said, so talk, Blackie. Oh my God, he said, in my version, he didn't say Blackie. Do you have the woke Disney Plus? I have the woke Disney Plus, what? Ho, 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 I'm Spidey Claus. And what would your name be, young man? <laughs> Patch. I'm, I'm Spidey Claus. How is anyone even like remotely afraid? Like I would be afraid of Spider-Man by default, but once he starts whipping out the terrible one-liners, I'd be like, okay, this guy is not threatening me at all. <laughs> Spider-Man's closing in. Round up the usual suspects. This is the new Smash leaderboard? It's the Smash leaderboard, and that guy there was DJ Wheat. A hologram? Oh man, not again. I like that they said not again. Like, this is just something that happens on the reg. It's like, oh shit, man, a hologram again. Right, Dr. Octopus? I, I beg you. Not to call me that. Oh my god, they're going through therapy. This is so good for them. Wow. It's Craven the Cummer? Craven the Cummer seems to be really against therapy workers. I hate therapy. Therapy told me to stop being a furry. Please, Max, you don't have to- she had it coming, bro. She's charging like $200 a session. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I fucking hate therapists. There's nothing better about better help. Looks like my favorite tutor needs a little lesson. Dude, I feel like literally every single thing that comes out of her fucking mouth is a double entendre. Flash, are you okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off the ice, dumbass. Don't we got seven? What about this guy? Strictly technical support. They went from the Sinister Six up to the Sinister Seven. Wow, this is so much more threatening than the previous season. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. My girlfriend dumped me, so you're kind of my rebound plan. So I get it, okay? I'm not your first choice. But I won't be your second choice either. Oh, Literally. Shit. She's not, she's oh, like, I'm not gonna- It's <laughs> like they're lined up. There's like a fucking cue to Peter. <laughs> That's probably the least painful part of my night. Why did he sound <laughs> like that? He burnt his mouth, man. Vicky? Ah! Is that a revolving door at that prison? <laughs> they were electrocuted for multiple seconds. Like, you don't just walk that off. But Electro can control. He just, like, I just wanted to give them a little <laughs> shot. It's like static electricity. It's just mildly annoying. Uh oh. Oh, oh that CGI, CGI tree Christmas tree is crazy. Oh my god, Flash sacrificed himself. I, I really wanted Flash to break his other leg. Mary Jane, where's Peter? Dude, thank God all three of Peter's love interests are beside each other. That's so beautiful that they can all- They can all die at once. It's like the Andrew Garfield scene, but just three of them at the same time. <laughs> They're all falling from the building. Feeble. Up at first, yada, yada, yada. He can't even finish his rift anymore. I love he's defeating him with the rubber. This is awesome. Eventually, you'll run out of tires, and then I'll... Huh? Dog, this is just fucking Luffy fighting Enel. Yeah, it's dude. a rubber versus electricity fight. You see, in the original script, they had him fighting in a cotton store, but that just didn't really pan out for the network. That coat, or should I say coating, looks amazing on you. Oh my god, Corey, you're right. What if he just got like a giant condom and then just like covered him in it? You know what I mean? Like that would be the ultimate threat. It kind of looked like he just took a fat piss all over Sandman. Here, you're gonna need this. I hate you so much. Dude, these guys are so fucking stupid, man. They're so dumb. Show yourselves! Arachnid! Wait, I thought he put, called it quit. I guess better help didn't fucking work or something. He was only liked his therapist because his therapist was hot. I'm a wedhead in desperate need of downtime. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, we totally fell for it. We're such fucking idiots. Oh, I think I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. 
Lock your chimneys, folks. Triple J cannot have a political career. That's all I'm saying, because that shit looks sus for a second, dude. Well, it worked once. I don't like Mysterio. Once you fought Mysterio once, like, you know what his whole thing is, right? Yeah, it's boring. <laughs> Please tell me these guys are going on the naughty list. Spider-Man, shut the fuck up, okay? We're tired of your fucking shit. Think maybe the master planner has a master plan? How do they get this confidence? <laughs> he literally has you by the neck and you're still shit talking, my boy? Do you think the master planner is a wedding planner going rogue <laughs> or something? Wedding planner by night, terrorist planner by day. <laughs> Wait, maybe the other way around. Where have you been? The snack bar ran out of cocoa, so I went down the street. <laughs> I've been gone for two hours. <laughs> Extractions complete. What? It was all a distraction. The rest of the six are still at large and considered extremely dangerous. Wait, that therapist is still alive? Can Electro not kill anyone with his electricity? He just gives them a little tickle. He's not like an actual villain. No. No, Otto. I feel bad for Otto. He doesn't deserve this. He just genuinely wants to fuck his therapist. Like, let him pipe the therapist already. Let him pipe the therapist. That's a better life. Here, open yours. It's gonna be like a certificate for an old folks home. <laughs> You're getting older, Aunt May. I don't want to take care of you anymore. I'm selling the house. I'm trying to make a big profit here. He's always here. The Christmas present was a framed photo of her dead husband. What a shit gift. Like, she's trying to move on, Peter. Why are you like, roasting his gift? It's a thought cat count. She needs some new d***, bro. <laughs> Nothing's gonna feel better than Uncle Ben, I'll tell you that much. Welcome to your lair, Master Planner. Thank you, Tinkerer. The octopus arms was the master planner all along? Are you fucking kidding me? Leaving Octavius free to <laughs> plan. What? So he was, he was faking. I mean, he wasn't faking how much he wanted to f therapist. That was true. I was able to activate the detonation countdown with a thought. Evil genius. Evil genius. Bro, you know Dr. Octopus's mom still makes his lunch before he goes to work. <laughs> Where did you put mommy's grilled cheese, Vulture? My brain now has a working wireless connection with nearly every computer in the city. His brain is gonna be fried. Like every <laughs> single computer in New York City. Are you insane? I now have inexplicably large knowledge about Minecraft for no reason. He's just a little confused. Hi, Petey. Hey, Liz. I'd kill myself. I'd kill myself instantly. You want Midtown units all the way up at 124th? Not oh, Midtown. I'm all the way up in fucking Base Town, though. I can't make my way down to Midtown. Not Peter's third choice. Not his third choice. What is he going to do? It's crazy because Gwen is going to be kidnapped and play the damsel in distress character. But then in the end, I know she's going to get fucked. I feel like Peter would pick Flash Thompson over Gwen. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, she might be fourth choice. It depends on the day. There's so much for quietly following them to Vulture's nest. I get it. It's like a superhero show and they have to keep the show going. But why doesn't Spider-Man just fucking kill them, bro? Like, be honest. Like, I think he's a superhero. Yeah, but at a certain point, when every single time you don't kill them they continue to harm more and more people because you refuse to kill them then you are just inadvertently becoming responsible for all these extra deaths and property damage you know what i mean so you agree with police brutality <laughs> <laughs> what do you want i want five thousand mugs with evil genius printed on them and i want them shipped to my door immediately we both know the hero won't do anything rash he called my bluff. You see, he literally just said, you're a pussy. I know you're not going to kill. Oh my God. Never mind. See, see, I knew you wouldn't really let me fall. He's such a coward. <laughs> He's such a fucking coward. He's just fucking with him. That's hilarious. Care to try for- Okay, okay, I'll talk. Spider-Man should study torture. Dropping people off of a building is pretty good, but like, there's other ways. That virus has given me access to all home sex systems. It's crazy that he's been doing this in the background throughout all those boring episodes when we had to watch Mysterio. This plot was cooking up the whole time. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of like the villain for this episode because it's kind of like if the NSA agent just snapped one day. It's just like if Edward Snowden had this evil tentacles on his back. <laughs> Look out! Go, let go of the bars! Oh. <laughs> Not my fifth choice!
I'm not even rooting for Spider-Man here. I just feel bad that Otto's plan failed. Like, like, it's not even his fault, really. Yeah, this is why you can't rely on people, because no one is as good as you. That's what they say. Don't rely on other people, whether you're talking about actual work, mental health. Do everything by yourself in life. Keep yourself cooped <laughs> up in a small room and don't have human contact. Don't talk to anyone about your problems until it all blows up. Like, that's the message of this episode. Without server to route signals <laughs> it's too much it's too much furry porn everywhere just think about how many nudes he's seeing right now like against his own will probably half the information in his brain right now is just unsolicited i finally understand what the women go through on a daily <laughs> basis enjoy your two this happened in fucking mystery incorporated though can we talk about that the only difference is that it isn't a nazi bird this time Oh, this is the Spider-Man moment. Isn't this in the comics? Yeah, this is in the comics. And this is in the movies. And this is in all of the media. I can't give up. Not with Gwen depending on me. I'll get pussy once. Oh my god, look how jacked he is. Oh my fucking god, look at him. Oh, I love him. No way, that shit is so heavy. No way he just did that. He literally has super strength, bro. It's like when the mom lifts the, the car to get their baby out. So whenever you run a child over, that's what happened. I want to see a mom lift a car, and that's, like, not easy to make happen. Killed that right. Look, he's saving the electric asshole. Like, how many people did that one man kill today? Maybe we shouldn't save serial killers. I don't know. But who are the white women gonna fall in love with? <laughs> Dude, this is the biggest inaccuracy. When is down bad for the superhero and not the supervillain? I'm fine, honey. Just fine. Now. Dude, if they ever find out what he did, he's gonna mysteriously disappear one day. One minute to midnight. I'm gonna try her again. Motherfuckers with his grandma on New Year's Eve, bro. That fucking sucks. Dude, he's 16. Yeah, prime time for underage drinking. Yeah, I know who you are, Pete. But I've told you, Gwen's been through a lot. Gwen's 74 in this show? What the fuck? Peter? Hi, Petey. No. Yes. No. Let's fucking go. See, I want to be with you. And that's why Gwen should have died. Hog champ. Hello? She is on the phone. She is on the phone still. The fuck? What, what did I say? And I salute the cuckoldry of Gwen. Bruh. What's her last name? Was that? Everywhere I go, I see his face. He's fucking this old fuck who's dating this 20 year old. I think that man deserves it. They should have had a moment where he's like, sorry for stealing from your daughter, old man. He's like, that's my wife. Now, how about a little trim? Oh, he turned into a guillotine. That's this kind of awesome. hilarious. We should bring back the guillotine. Are you sure I look good in this light? You look good. I remember this, but I don't remember what happens. I just like the scenes of like the interview are really strong in my memory for some reason. Okay, what's that about? Oh, haven't you heard? They're a couple. Just move on. There has to be some other men in this fucking school. I hear he was five months in juvie. It was uh, six, actually. I just brought one gun to school and they locked me up for six months. <laughs> the guy on the right looks like core, bro. And lucky you gets to go as more our date. You can, uh... Thank me at the party. She didn't say one. She word. literally didn't she, say yeah. anything. She, she doesn't speak English. She that would be the speak, funniest plot twist confused. ever. That's our foreign exchange student. She does not speak a word of English. I, Harry! Hey, Gwen. I, man, I've missed you. Ew. What? Oh, God. What? That was what? the creepiest what? 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 way you could have said that. But they just serve each other. It's the fem cell and the incel. If every fem cell fucked every incel, we wouldn't have a problem in the world. You coming, Pete? So I'm assuming the way it's going to evolve is that the Green Goblin's going to come back and then Peter's going to think that it's him, but it turns out it's actually his dad this time, this Green Goblin, and he's going to be like, what? They keep switching every six <laughs> months. They keep fucking with Peter's head. Be my date. Date? Like a date date? Look, Peter is standing next to his woman right behind him. You can tell he is taken. He is taken. Move on with your life. Sure. Thank God. Oh my God. Then it's settled. This Saturday, we're a foursome. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was fucking I think I think Harry might be jumping the gun a little bit. What do you got? Some kind of spider sense or something? That's funny you should say that. Oh. <laughs> I was about to complain about that line, but it was actually so funny the way he was saying it so quickly. And there's no way I'm missing out on my big score. Is it just me or did Sandman like actually learn to use his powers? Because he was not this good at using his sand power season one. He is a lot more creative. I'll give him that. My lawyers made him feed me raw silicates. I can absorb as much of the stuff as I want. Oh, yeah. So he is OP. You're right. Yeah, he did just power up. You wasted on all the same stupid crimes Flint Marco committed. What? Yeah, I, I mean, with great power comes great- GULLIBILITY! <laughs> <laughs> he deserved that. Usually it's the villains being gullible, but Spider-Man really took the L on that one. Hey, big guy. Whoa. Are you ready for your birthday kiss? What? What, what is Jesus. going on, man? Excuse me? MJ is perpetually for the streets. Dude, it's gonna be a fivesome. Well, of course I invited Peter. After all, he's your best friend. <laughs> He was making a pog face. Cuts to everyone's pog face. Who do you think gave Eugene his nickname? And hey, it wasn't because he ran fast. Oh my goodness, that picture. <laughs> this is a good episode. I like this episode a lot. Yeah, it's a really good episode. You call that a castle? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Sandman's gonna kill all the kids. Let's fucking go. Kids a witch, yeah. Oh, he's making them a big sink. That's so cute. And then he's going to drop it all on them and suffocate them to death. Now run along. It's getting cold out. Wait, he's doing some good. He's doing good for once in his life and then the sirens start kicking in. What are you doing with that child, Sandman? There was like someone who drawn in the back and who fell from like the 15th <laughs> floor. I had a funny sound effect for that, Tim. Yeah, season two just got good all of a sudden, bro. I was right. You, you were didn't say right. Anything. What are you talking about? I was right. I really like this episode. I think Sandman has evolved as a character. I feel like the whole moment of him helping out the little girl was like such an important moment for the episode. Yeah, it makes you wonder if he's like gonna realize that he's just being taken advantage of and like maybe he'll become a good character by the end of the series, question mark. I know this shit got canceled, so I don't know how much of a resolution this show is gonna get. I feel like we'll be cucked on the cliffhanger, to be honest. Shannon, stop! Oh my, that was cool. The slide, though. That man would make bank at Universal. I never meant for this to happen. Wait, Sandy, let go! You fought Spider-Man like eight times over the course of the series. You're realizing this now? Did he kill big. himself? You wanted a big score, Marco? As far as I'm concerned. You just scored about as big as a man can. That doesn't make any sense. How does that's even? I don't understand what the f it glazed him. Oh no, he's, he's not alive. Dead. I was about to say like what he got glazed. Like I'd glaze him, but like I just don't understand how that would kill him. So I didn't see Venom. Maybe Eddie's back. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I need to see a fucking therapist. I knew if I made you paranoid enough, you'd lead me right to the one I love. He's so cringe. Venom's back. God damn it. If you run into my bro Pete, tell him we. We'll see him soon. He doesn't even look like a human anymore. Yeah, but who was filming this? Like, this is literally a coded death threat. And the person filming is like, nice, looks good. It's like, oh, you want to see Petey? Oh, sure thing. Wait, Venom, Venom's good? Back in black, huh? I approve. What? Wait, why is he attacking the police as well? What the fuck is going on right now? These are the only cops in New York City that are okay with black people and you're attacking them? My boy's clothes are shrieking right off him! Actually, he's getting bigger. Oh, this is Hulk, right? I don't no. know. He's infected with microscopic spores that hitched a ride on the life form. So it turns out that he was exposed to massive microplastics that are making his cells become even bigger. That's very interesting. Neither did extreme heat or cold. I've had limited success destroying individual spores with electricity. I tried fitting him in that microwave, but sadly, he's a little <laughs> too big to fit inside. Any personality changes might imply the spores are chemically altering your mind as well. Bro, I think I just realized the point of Spider-Man. What? Mr. Spider-Man, yeah. whenever he's given a great power, he understands the responsibility. Indeed. But yeah, every other I... villain in this show gets power and doesn't understand yes. the responsibility. No, It all kidding. goes back to what Uncle Ben said. It's all about Uncle Ben. Oh, I have lost my reputation. 
I have lost the immortal part of myself. The football players are also in theater. Like, what type of Fruit Loop Academy are they in right now? Like looking in a mirror, bro. <laughs> To be honest, they don't look anything alike. Like, they look so drastically different. That's how you know, like, racism rates are at an all-time low in this city, though. Like, you can look at a black Spider-Man and a red and blue Spider-Man, and they can't tell the difference. Like, that's beautiful. That one might smile and smile and be a villain! Is this some, like, abstract play that, like, Peter's making everyone do? I think they're quoting... Shakespeare. That part was Shakespeare where the cheerleader did her little chant. <laughs> I can't imagine that was how he intended it to be delivered. Yeah. Connors, like, he needs to hire, like, someone who works in, like, fashion. If you're gonna be making these fucking costumes, like, you might as well, like, make good costumes. Why does he just go to yellow and green? Hi, uh, I'm, uh... Colonel Jupiter. Colonel Jupiter, bro. He's a himbo. Like, he's kind of adorable. I'm not gonna lie. That's it. One at a time. No ticket required. Bro, did you see the Spidey slide at Universal Studios now? They light the building on fire for real. Several people die every ride, but it's worth it for the thrill. He didn't even look happy. He just caught it. You think anyone with a parrot is happy about having a parrot? <laughs> it's instant regret. Everyone who has a parrot, it's like they're in a fucking abusive relationship. And answer a few easy questions like, what's my name? No thanks. It'll be okay. It's literally Civil War. He's Iron Man in Civil War. Yeah, he is. Because he believes in the police, bro. Petey, have you been smoking? <laughs> the way she said that was really funny. Petey, have, have you, you been, been smoking? smoking? She's like totally immune to the flash. Because she's got a brain? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how to make her go out with me. Me? Why me? Because A. You have like four women lined up trying to fuck you at every time. I, I guess you could try taking an interest in the things she likes. Dude, Peter does not care. <laughs> I like that Peter started off like lame, right? He he yeah. sucked and everybody hated him. But now he's like a chill ass dude. He's like cool now. He just became like the cool. <laughs> like guy he in became school. cool. Well, ever since he brought the hot ass fucking Mary Jane to the prom or whatever, like <laughs> his reputation changed completely. Mary Jane is by far like one of the what worst characters in this guy. entire. I show. completely disagree. I love Mary Jane. I like MJ because she doesn't give a shit. She just shows up and does her thing. You're making a big mistake, Webhead. Dude, his fucking apartment, man. <laughs> like, he came, he came, he came in the building, just destroyed his fucking apartment, and then left immediately. What a fucking asshole. Spider Man is mine, and I'm gonna stop him permanently. Oh god, he's having a heart attack. Like, the fucking <laughs> blurred background is his actual point of view. Like, are we just gonna witness a heart attack at the end of the episode? <laughs> he looks so fucking evil. Oh, it is excellent to have a giant strength, but it is tyrannous to use it like a giant. I really like the pacing of this episode. It's like weirdly artsy. It's giving. It's giving like good pacing vibes. Like One Piece? Yeah! That's the Jupiter planet and Jupiter hits Spider-Man with the Jupiter planet. Should have gone to college to get more knowledge, Mr. Jupiter. <laughs> I'm actually surprised Peter didn't say that. Connor said electricity only had limited success destroying the spores. But maybe the problem was limited electricity. Is he, he's gonna electrocute him? Hey, Colonel Stupider! Is it true you're getting denser by the minute? He literally said Colonel Stupider. Is it true that you get more stupider? He he killed him. His heart stopped. Even if he was just dead for a few seconds, Spider-Man did technically kill him there. The spores are completely out of your son's system. The spore is completely out of your son's system. It was a rather mediocre video game that didn't live up to his expectations. Let's get the power. Let's get the power. I love sport. Uh, <laughs> my son, he's a gamer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Game. <laughs> Another one of yours. They need to shut down his lab. He's just creating fucking super villains. How is he still running? How has he not been shut down? Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Just a sec, okay? Uh, Dad. Dad, I got the lead in the play. Bro. Such a piece of shit. I have a girlfriend now. Oh my god, he's such a piece of shit. It's oh my god. That seems unlikely since you aren't on the list. What? <laughs> he just has this bitch following him around everywhere he goes. Here's a scoop. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. He's just lying. He's what? lying. It literally says right there, Josh Keaton as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Josh Keaton is Spider-Man.
Any chance Pete and Spidey are one and the same? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of episodes where they frame it from like, like they did this before in one of the previous when they were recording the video for the party. And then the other one they have like it interspersed with the Shakespeare auditions. Like they do a lot of neat framing devices. Why don't we catch up over coffee? Just the two of us. No! Why, what the <laughs> fuck? No! 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 That's my woman to keep on the sidelines. Oh, but you will. Oh my god, his face is evil. <laughs> He's got a f Peter. Is that your girl? Yo, babe, what's it like kissing a freak, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That guy looks evil. Yeah! With a swim gym! Oh, they're literally framed in a fucking heart. In the heart, bro. Kiss, 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 kiss. You have a girlfriend and she's way hotter and cooler and better. <laughs> and the phone rang. Who's the real villain here? Eddie or Peter? Almost cheating on his girlfriend there. But stay tuned. We'll be right back with the unmasking. I don't get Venom's like, does he just want to embarrass Peter and ruin his life? Or does he want to kill him? He was trying to like kill him, like straight up murder him before. Destroying you now would be too easy. You haven't suffered enough. He's just stealing all the shit. A snack for later. Anyone can suit up and pretend to be Spidey. <laughs> and I can prove it. Oh, he's gonna oh get kidnapped God. by Venom. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Spidey's gimped up. Spidey's, Spidey's gimped, gimped up. Gimped up. <laughs> Hold this for me, genius. Hey! Hold this for me, genius. Oh my goodness. Spider-Man, take a picture of that. Spider-Man literally pulled the crutch out of the hands of a crippled person Aww. that's fucked up. He's my biggest fan, which is sad, really. <laughs> After your identity's revealed, we'll pour it down your throat. This is kind of kinky. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. <laughs> that, that, that smile was really funny. <laughs> that smile was not animated. They fucking like warped that shit. Venom, Venom. Okay, think about how much better this theme would be if Eminem's Venom song was playing underneath it. Yeah, editor, you know what to do. Play a cover of us doing Eminem's Venom song. Venom, like, Venom. Like create a cover of us yeah, doing- Yeah, commission us on Fiverr to make a cover. Knock, knock, let the devil in. Knock, 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 let, knock, the, knock, devil let the devil Venom, in. Venom. Ooh. Oh my god, that shot was so fucking cool. The 3D background. That was some animation. This is a long fight scene, I will say. And it sucks. I mean, it's not even uncreative. It's just like a little too long. It is creative and it is well animated. It's just lacking in variety because we've just seen these two characters fight so much. I'm kind of over it. He's a fucking idiot. He should have just bought a giant bell. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, even better. Get a fucking vibrator. Ooh. Get the vibrator, shove it up his ass, and he dies. He dies of heaven, bro. Oh, that's kind of funny looking. You got the wrong spider. Please, you're, you're not, not fooling me. The goat, flash of the goat. We'll take that cleanser now. Whatever you say, bro. The, oh my god, oh my god, god, god. god. he's throw that shit. What does that thing do? It turns him into the lizard? No, that's the one that like removes his amoebas inside or whatever. It like restructures his DNA. Oh shit, he's killing the symbiote. Let's go. You're free. You can stop this. Stop hating. Can't. I'm a hater. Uninstall Twitter, Eddie. You can do it. There's a new application called Threads. It, it might be better for your mental health. And just go to another social media. That'll solve your problems. I would like to offer you the part of Nick Bottom in our play. He Nick plays Bottom. Bottom. He plays the fucking horse. Trust me, you have that role nailed. You know I do. Oh, Why is it? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> that Why was, so was he here? I'm asking the university board to turn over day-to-day -day management of the lab. To me. I'm not gonna lie, Kurt sucks. Agreed, like you make some agreed. weird signs stuff, but like you're bad at your job. Come on, I mean, would the real Spidey ever show his face in public? Thank you. This is fucking mm -hmm. Death Note, dude. The fucking police and like the news are investigating him as he works with them. Why is Venom still in the fucking show, man? Who's he gonna take over now? Gwen? Gwen, man. <laughs> Gwenom. <laughs> Gwenom. <laughs> Gwenom. Gwenom. It's time Gwenom. for Gwenom, Gwenom time. Gwenom.
Oh my god, boob cam? What the fuck is the boob cam? POV, you're a milker. Dude, this bitch hasn't been in the show for like, I guess they didn't know that the show was gonna get canceled, but like I was expecting her to be so much more relevant. Well, we still have some more episodes, so maybe she'll become very important. She's Mary Jane. Like we know that, right? No. Shit looks like a fucking anime convention. They got the goofiest <laughs> outfits. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Yo, Tim, can you make one of the, one of these intro cutscenes but have Hillary Clinton as one of them? <laughs> <laughs> Liz Allen. Hillary Clinton. Nothing's close to Silvio Manfredi's daughter. You should know that by now. Oh my god, that's Black Cat. Sorry, Hobie. Hold that thought. Hobie! Hobie. Spider-Punk. That's Hobie Brown. Well, there's a different Hobie Brown in the comics that predates Spider-Punk. No. I only know that because I watched Tim's edit. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it, Tim. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure I'll be done in time to pick you up. Say, seven-ish? Bro, don't lose. Stop making promises! I know promises. he's gonna lose her. And it makes me sad because I like her. I don't want her to be let down. Beat it, small fry. Poor people be like, oh my god. That's how fucking broke people be walking to the fridge for a cup of water and microwave Little Caesars pizza, bro. Hey, Pete. Thanks for meeting me. Does everyone have a secret identity? Dude, this guy's <laughs> fucking awesome. This is fun. I wouldn't mind seeing more of, like, the insight into, like, the reporting side. Because I find stories about reporting industry pretty interesting. What are they all bidding on? The keys to the city. The specs to mass produce an army of rhino armored super mercenaries. Dude, this is like the first fucking like Western cartoon we watch where the newspaper has just actual text and not just fucking random key spamming because <laughs> it was outsourced to Korea. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's playing on his Switch. I gotta finish Tears of the Kingdom first. Tell me. Silver Sable. What in the fuck is that perspective? That looks weird. Ew, that looks like, fucking bizarre. Oh god. That ass was weird. Booty cheeks there for a second. <laughs> I love Hammer. He's like, he's the funniest looking villain. He just rants people with his skull. Bro, she got done in by a fucking door. They doored her. Still using the same dirty tricks. Oh, I have new ones too. Ooh. Kinky. They had they had a relationship before. They used to fuck. And that's why I broke up with you. I knew it, bro. I knew it. Do you think he has a titanium plated oh, cock wait, too? Whoa, Hammy, what'd you see in her? We had a lot in common. We both give great head. What house? Oh my god, this is like endless. It just keeps getting more intricate. You shouldn't have taken my drive. That is literally like the fourth time she's been murdered by a door. Every character has a weakness. Her weakness is fucking doors. If she had a penis, it would get stuck in the car door. It's the glass ceiling, really. Like the glass of the doors was stopping her. I know I'll regret this, but... You wanna partner up to destroy it? It feels like I'm watching them where they're playing like Monopoly or some shit and they're like making alliances and betraying each other. Wanna get in there? Hey, I'm a professional best. <laughs> that so they're chasing after the black book. You think the white haired woman's Elaine Maxwell? Just Lane Maxwell? What? No high fives? No kumbayas? I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. He's fucking on the stripper pole, bro. He's fucking twerking on that shit. That's what I get for taking pity on the boss's daughter. Oh, her dad is the fish guy. But that's Mary Jane, right? No. Yes. Everyone has a double identity in this fucking show, man. I just, there's no way Mary Jane is just the most useless, pointless character in the entire show and they don't do anything not with her. useless. She, she why do you like hate Mary Jane it. so much? She's funny. She's not what? funny, bro. She's, she's not. She's like infinitely better than Gwen. I'm a Mary Jane hater. She's the worst one. Are we, play, are we playing women hating Olympics right now? We're not playing women hating Olympics. I don't hate any of the women. <laughs> yes, you I'm do. Just saying you that. hate Mary Jane. Mary Jane Roll it sucks. back, Tim. He's a Mary Jane hater. I'm a Mary Jane hater. She's the Worst one. Never hurts to have someone watch your back. Leastways, that's what I tell my students. Peter. So no one knows you gave Kingsley a fake drive in the first place. No, sir. What the fuck? Why does Norman Osborne have the flash drive? I'm not mad. Okay, sure, it's too late to go out, but... It's too late to go out, but it's early enough to fuck. I kind of don't deserve you. You kind of don't. But we'll work on that. Bro, yeah. bro she's not yeah. wearing awesome. Hold on. What? Gwen is so cool. 
I mean, Liz. Did you hear what he just said? Glenn so is so cool. cool. No I want to kill him. I want to kill him. I want to choke shit. him to death. Kill Peter, yourself. You suck. so you goddamn suck, hard right you. now, Peter. POV, your waifu didn't win in a harem anime? Shut the fuck up, Tim. You went to the enforcers? Good morning, Hammerhead. Do you know Keith David voices the fucking the cat in Coraline? Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Apparently, Keith David only voices this guy in the first episode he shows up, and then it's someone else trying to do like a uh, impression. Gwen Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> I, I fucking knew it. Ricochet, go. That's so fucking lame. Dude, he sounds like a fucking four kids voice. Like, for like a Yu-Gi-Oh character, they just give him a random country voice. I, um, uh... Crashed your bike? Yeah. He knows, he knows. This guy's better at coming up with excuses than Peter. Well, I'm not really a partner person. Psh, I hear you. I'm more of a poly. I'm more of a woman to the streets. Yeah. As if a night out has to be life changing. What's wrong with just having a little fun? She's God. basically saying that. Like, we're joking, but then she just says it. You and Harry seem to be getting along great. He's a great guy. I mean, not for me, though. Like, he's weird, and I wouldn't date him ever, but, like, he's a great guy. Good for you. Yeah, especially after that drug problem. I don't know how you're doing that. Hey, whoa, 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 wrong way. You want to go? Jesus. God. Oh, my Lord. Elevator kill switch disabled. You got the monitor link on redirect? Uh -huh. These guys are goaded. The enforcers are like the best villains, man. These are like some of the only villains in the show that we've seen that like know what the fuck they're doing. They're organized. Yeah, uh, the thing is, I was drinking this stuff. Uh, Globulin green. I was addicted to drugs. If anyone finds out the games you played in would be disqualified along with our championship. I'm honestly surprised he just said it. I was expecting him to like lie or something. I mean, if you tell your honor that I was doing globulin green, <laughs> you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Spider Man. It's catchy. <laughs> I like it. It is catchy. And I said I'd take some pics. Didn't say that was all I'd do. <laughs> what if the cop heard him? He's like, what? <laughs> what else are you going to do, Peter? Peter? Hello? Why are you talking to yourself, Peter? What the hell is that goofy ass logic right there? He just jumped off of a guy's laser beam. Some fucking One Piece shit. Bro, right he's there. like playing a video game right now. What the fuck is this? He got a pair of spider parachute. I love it. This is really fun. How I thought. <laughs> These villains, they're having a lot of fun. Like, maybe Spider-Man should just let them have fun for a little bit. True, like, it's- they're only taking a little bit of gold. Like, why can't they just share? Dude, this guy is so, so fucking goofy. goofy. Why does he have to be in, like, the fetal <laughs> position whenever he's bouncing? Like, it looks so weird. That's fucking me bouncing around in the womb. It sounds like when you 70 Sam is shooting a gun. That's yeah. what the sound effect is. Never touch another man's treasure. One man's treasure is another man's brake pads. One man's treasure is another man's brake pads. Did he just say that? I don't even think Spider-Man's trying anymore. He's like, <laughs> I'm starting to run out of ideas, guys. We're towards the end of season two. I, I think the fight scenes are getting so long that he's running out of material. Is that the geek's camera? Peter! 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 It kind of sounded like Lois. That's the hammerhead woman. I like that the like fucking villains aren't even on each other's side. There's so much politics in the city, man. There's so many things going on. I suppose you left it on auto shoot to try to get a few pictures while indisposed. Th this guy knows. He knows. He knows. Exactly. He, he knows. knows. Does he know? Question mark. He does. The Mustangs championship title is now under review. Such a comically large trophy. You had to spill and ruin it for- He didn't spill. I did. What a fucking idiot. No, Flash is real. No, not Flash is real. Now they can't put this shit on their college fucking resume. Thanks. You did good. He did it for pussy? Are you fucking- Flash, I'm killing you, man. You probably sacrificed like a million dollars in scholarship funds for one drop of pussy. Like, that's fucked up. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, okay? And 
he's gonna get this guy back on the drugs. Flash, you ruined <laughs> everything. You literally fucked up everything for pussy. Gentlemen. Oh! Is this Gwen? Is that a hot girl? Because she's not wearing glasses and she let her hair down? That's the white girl. What are you saying? The girl with white hair. That's her, dude. Gwen. Oh, that's Gwen? <laughs> are you fucking I did What are you saying? What are you I'm saying gonna be right now? We can begin. Dude, I stopped going to these places once Abraham Lincoln died. I'm gonna be honest with you. Once that happened, I'm like, no more theaters for me, man. What if like they made an like a play about the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, and then another president got assassinated while attending that play? And then they make a play about that play, and then the new president, President Jack's boy, gets murdered. The last change he was able to make to the law was allowing Canadians to be elected president. Romantic minds think alike, eh? Why don't all us homies sit together? Peter straight up made like a, a triple date with two girls that he's rejected. <laughs> what is the logic here? Oops, clumsy me. Yo, Parker, help me pick this up. He starts giving him head under the table. <laughs> okay, Parker, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I suck your dick and you shut the fuck up for the rest of the night, okay? So if I say something dumb, you kick me or something. For you, pal? Anytime. They can hear them talking under the table like I'm crazy, right? Why? You want to eat off dirty forks or- Ow! Literally, the jock is taking relationship advice from the nerd right now. It's like such a complete inversion of roles. We're reading a Meriwether comic right now. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? You get the purple fana. They're turning on each other. He injected fucking grape crush into her neck and she passed out from the amount of sugar in her body because she avoids sugar on her diet. Yeah, it's a date rape drug. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man, what can I say? This is why we keep him, this is why we keep him around. Dude, this is like the death of Julius Caesar. This is so interesting. Are they married or are they father and son? <laughs> father and son. Well, I don't know her, her gender. This man loves his trans son. You see, old people do have a use in society. It's a crime? Yes, yeah, crime and attacking people. And going to operas. I mean, someone has to. Someone has to fund that shitty profession. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And doesn't the Bugle have any other photographers? Not for this assignment. Parker! What are you doing? Parker! <laughs> He's more distraught about Peter leaving than fucking Liz. Sorry, Gwen. What the <laughs> fuck? What the, what the what fuck the was that, that, Peter? What am I witnessing right now? A two octopus. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> That's the death of Julius Caesar quote. I'm a genius. <laughs> I just think it's fun to have this action scene with a completely different type of music. It really changes the vibe. It's also, it's really interesting. It's like everyone's coming together, like all the different sides that like the politics that have been leading up to this whole season. Yeah. When you told me to try the S car go, I thought you'd S car went. But ow, <laughs> was I fooler? Mm. Parker was doing it and it looked like fun. Wakanda <laughs> <laughs> forever! I like how this episode's called Gangland. I was expecting Spider-Man to go to the hood, but it's like the most sophisticated episode so far. <laughs> Please tell me the fat lady's not singing. Oh, oh my God. God. They went way too hard on that fat lady. I like you for who you are. An honest guy who stands up for what's right. And who's a little stupid. Then dance with me. Because honestly, I can't think of anything I'd rather do. That's so wholesome. What the fuck? That's, cute. That's so cute. It's a commercial holiday created by florists and greeting card companies. Nothing romantic about it. Kill yourself. <laughs> well, they're trying to help Liz cope right now. What the fuck? Is can't see, but I don't need my sight to finish this. Just came in his eyes. Yeah, you're supposed to come in your girlfriend. I was saving that for Liz, but I started thinking about Gwen. I let go, I let go, I'm sorry. <laughs> to be honest, if this was an adult show, considering what they've done, they would have a scene where he's like having sexy calls out Gwen's name. That's for the manga <laughs> adaptation, bro. This show is very quickly turning into Rena girlfriend. I know it's not sporting, but who am I to balk at playing the scavenger? This is the fucking type of episode that gets like award nominated, bro. This does feel like they're like, please give us the Emmy. It might be the best episode of the show. It just paced really well. Then I told you then, 
I don't look the other way. I don't look the other way when I cross the street. I've been hit by dozens of cars. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome, dude. They took out the sound effects and that's just the music. <laughs> this is my spectacular Spider-Man AMV. Dude, this is so good, man. Oh my God. This is like the best. Oh my God, the curtain closed. Oh my God. Dude, this show is so artsy and good. What the hell? That was that was really entertaining. Expect your severance package soon. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Liz gets the job. Well, then what is Two it? words. Gwen Stacy. True. I mean, he did do that. Mark needs to kill this mother. Beat him to death. Tombstone made bail. Lincoln may be free, but the world knows he's the big man. I mean, he is tall, so yeah. I don't mean to be prejudiced, but like no one was drawn a little bit suspicious of a man walking around with literal shark skin. New York's really diverse, bro. They probably just think he's from the Middle East or something. I don't know. I should have known you were behind this. Guilty. What? All the villains, they just need to have like a big orgy or something and work out their problems. Oh, so this is why they tell you not to play with fire. Ha <laughs> His jokes are so good. Is there a universe where Peter Parker gets bit by a radioactive spider and then just dies of cancer? I imagine that multiverse would be a pretty short comics run. What have you come by night and soul in my love's heart? Stop! I really am watching a high school play right now. You, you waiting for Harry? Maybe we shouldn't wait together. Yeah, maybe not. They're both terrible people. I hate them and I hope they get hit by cars. They should do a Romeo and Juliet S scenario where they kill themselves. I hope there's a tragic scenario where one of them happens to fall off a building, get barely gets caught, and then their neck breaks, and it leaves the other one with permanent mental damage. Please. I want things right too, Petey. She's so forgiving. You do not deserve her, bro. You do not deserve- I can't do this, bro. She needs to learn how to stand up for herself. Like, this is not okay, man. And the last time Mark was on a losing streak, he stole a car. Oh my god, his brother's in fucking gambling debt? Trust me on this. No one can help Mark until he's ready to help himself. Whoa, whoa. Faith addiction advice from, from the guy who's addicted to something? Where's me money? Marky. Where's me money, Marky Poo? Been a bookie long enough to know a winner when I see one. Oh, good answer. Does he wear underwear? Like, he's got the little thing that hangs down. No. Fuck out and everything, bro. Does Globulin Green give you, like, a goblin c too? Take off your jacket and wait here. This is weird. This is so fucking weird. Take off your pants. You're gonna be paying a different way. <laughs> What's happening? And it was all yellow. The big sky is falling. Blackie deserves to die. Yikes, man. Do not take that out of context. I shouldn't. Don't take that out of context. Please. <laughs> Tim, please. I can't. Please. You should really quit while you're ahead. How do you quit when you're on this kind of hot streak? Oh my fucking god, oh man. Oh my god. This is sad. This is depressing. This isn't even funny anymore. He's just actually addicted. No! Just replace this with CSGO gambling, and this is the modern version of this show. Like, kids have lost thousands of dollars to CSGO gambling. I was supposed to get that fucking knife! Sounds like... Mark. You see, in the ideal timeline, he'd be addicted to Uma Musume. Oof. I need $100 for my fucking horse, girls. Liz! Mary Jane, can you hear me? Maybe if I burn everything down, I'll be able to find them. I think he's gambling again. He... He told you about that? She's making like TikTok expressions, like she's pretending to care and like, pretending to have emotions. I think she's gambling again. Oh no! He's gambling again. I'm really sad for your brother. He has a crippling addiction. This is terrible. What's wrong with this stuff? I can't turn it off. Being a freak for life wasn't part of our deal. Dude, this episode is fucking structured like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> They're really ending this show so well, and then it got canceled. Like, it's really funny. Like, it's really sad. Eliminate Spider-Man. Bombs. One last note. Very dramatic cue. The other crime lords made the mistake of trying to distract the web slinger. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he is going to April? Let's go. That's pretty funny, though. Kurt Connors, he... 
think I've had enough of doctors and scientists for one day. Oh my god, now he's anti-medicine, anti-science. He had one bad day. So this is why they tell you not to play with fire. You made that joke last episode, Spider-Man. <laughs> that was this episode. That, you made that joke this episode, Fireman. Oh, wait, this is the same scene as before. That's why. It's the same. We made it fall. But now we're... What the fuck? I'm so confused right now. It's always a luck with you, Mark. Quit gambling your life away. The, you know what? The, this reminds me of the gun episode of Static Shock. Oh, okay. Like, all these, like, old superhero cartoons, they'd have, like, the one, like, really serious episode. Yeah, this is really sad. Just seeing, like, the tears in Liz's eyes makes it feel, like, weirdly real. Like, you're dealing, you're dealing with an actual family member going through a crisis. He's making no him way, spread no him. Way he's, he's literally making him spread him. Nuts out in everything. Like, come on, man. That's what I get for betting on an amateur. Oh, he freed him. That's nice. Aw. Free shower, too. Perfect. Take all the pictures you want. That's not why I'm here. But if I could snap a quick pic as well, uh, that'd be nice, actually. And will you rent our ancient love asunder? You thief of love. Dude, the director was like, where's the pain? And they really went through a traumatic situation and it made their acting better. What the fuck? This is like that episode of Barry. Yeah, man, what the fuck? What? Uh, Spider-Man's in jail? Did they find his underground child slavery ring? Those are the kids that work in his child slavery uh, ring. They've been in the intro the entire time. Oh my time. god. Hey, just remember, I'm only here because Normikins asked me to test the vault security. He's testing the security. He's not actually in prison right now. It was a clickbait moment. Yet another Oscorp sensor system for the vault. All right, everything seems in order. That's the girl with white hair. I'm actually right this time. That's Black Cat, dumbass. That's what I said. The girl with white hair is Black Cat. There's like a, a lot of characters with white hair. Like, No, it's not Black Cat. It, no, it is Black Cat. What are you saying? I thought it was the other sexy white hair woman, Cor. <laughs> Sorry. Since Mark uh, can't be here, I, I really need a friendly face in the seat I saved you. Oh, I just feel oh sad. God. Like, this just makes Liz. me sad. She should have never met him, bro. Charting junctures with pre-existing prison. If breaking out is this easy. Yo, move the camera to the left, dude. Move the camera Whoa. to the Move it over. Oh, oh my lead. If I miss Liz's play, I might as well settle in here permanently. This is like the fucking, oh, God damn it. The fucking Nathan Fielder skit where he has to like, he has to get out of this prison in time. Otherwise, Liz is never going to talk to him ever again. Well, at least he's not going to be registered as a sex offender. Mr. Brown? He knows the role. He knows it cold. Hey, let him talk for himself. Let hope he talk. I wouldn't poke that if I were you. His strategy was just come everywhere. That's what my goon cave looks like, also. I help or heard, my dear friend Spidey. I'm in a rhyming mood. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was not expecting him to address the camera. So, I mean, how can I resist tormenting all the crooks, thugs, and hoods I put away? This That's kind of fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> oh my goodness, Spider-Man's literally becoming a victim of his own hubris. Call you me fair? That fair again on say. Oh my god, Peter. Peter. Of course the empty seat is in the middle of the gymnasium. Now what? Hi, Daddy. Daddy, Whoa, what? what? I'm gonna say that. I'll say that. So the white haired woman was Black Cat? Am I fucking stupid? I'm stupid. Felicia Hardy, what were you thinking? That my father shouldn't be rotting away in prison. Can we just like loop the daddy part? Like, can we just go back, please? Daddy? <laughs> daddy? Not you, Jack. Not interested. But that's fucked up because she was actually referring to her father. Maybe she didn't mean it that way. Maybe she didn't mean it that way, though. She addressed her daddy as a daddy, but in a sexual way, not a familiar way. Maybe she's adopted. That doesn't help. What can I say? I've got a little crush. We can see him. Just like put your brightness up, bro. It's the guy with the white hair. No, it's not. The guy with the white hair's out there. There's a lot of characters have white hair in this show. Oh. Bro, they literally played the Roosh of the Bat saxophone right there. Did you hear that? Oh my it was Lord. literally like in Sonic X when anytime Roosh does anything, they play a fucking sax cue. Are you not he? Thou speaks to right. I am that merry wonder of the night. That's cool. That's clever. A cartoon with clever writing in this economy? Get that cell open now! Cat, you're a sight for sore eyes. You're a sight for sore balls. 
the cat burglar. That face. I killed it's all the guy of who killed I killed your uncle, God. Peter. Black Cat's father murdered Uncle Ben. But I still want to fuck her. God damn it! Bro, the hate fuck is going to be crazy. <sighs> I pray thee, gentle mortals, sing again. <laughs> I love Flash. Flash has become one of the best characters in the show. His character arc is so good. This is so interesting because like they're introduced as like one note, like basically just like annoying bitches, but they all get fleshed out so much over the course of the show. Hey, Molten Man, bet you can't hit me from there with a lava ball. I'll take that bet. Oh, that's clever. He takes the bet because he's the guy who likes the bet. Oh my God, that's clever because he has a gambling addiction. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> he didn't even make a joke there. He just insulted him directly. No door stops Rhino for long. I won't need long. Pardon? They're, they're, they're gassing, gassing they're though? Die? I never even carried a gun. But as I got older... But as I got older, I really wanted to kill Uncle Ben. So I'll turn on the gas. That won't make us even. You're not forgiven. I understand. That is fun though. Even the guy who fucking motivated Spider-Man's existence to begin with isn't like just an outright bad guy. What is, is that fucking, <laughs> is that a spider tennis ball? What the fuck was that? Squidward tennis balls over here learned a new trick. But it's your fault he'll spend the rest of his life in this hole. And I'll never forgive you for that. But we will fuck later. And then Peter's gonna show up right at the end. Or not at all. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Peter. Liz needs to break up with that fucking cunt. I made fun of her for the glasses. She looks worse without them. Well, you're the one that made her insecure in the first place, okay? You caused this problem. She's like, Court was playing look really doesn't like my glasses. Peter's never gonna like me if I don't wear my glasses. <laughs> Final intro ever, bro. We can never hear it. Uh, 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 I, I was completely locked up with work. Okay. No! Please! I became the Green Goblin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the Goblin or someone wearing a goblin costume kidnapped me. What? Is it Norman? It's Norman. But I destroyed my stash to make sure I wouldn't, I, I couldn't succumb. Dude, Harry's the goat. He went to rehab and he stuck to it. Oh my God. Gwen, you're the one I want to be with. Break you to you kill yourself. No, not behind Harry's back or Liz's. Right, right. We, we have to break it off with them first. Oh my God! Are you fucking kidding me? What, 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 what? That's not exactly a secret. Mr. Osborne. <laughs> Which one of you is the goblin? I've got this handle, dear. It's the wife. It's the wife. It's the goblin wife. Goblin pussy, bro. That's the plot twist. Even women can be I goblins know. because we live in a progressive society, dude. I apologize, Spider-Man. One moment. <sighs> I'm so lost. I was sure Norman was the goblin. Until he said, no, I'm not the goblin. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Holy fucking shit. What is going on right now? I just feel so weird about like, if this show ends this episode, Peter is just a bad person throughout <laughs> like 70% of the fucking show. You know, now that I think about it, this is not even that different from the way he handles relationships in Spider-Man 2. Someone set me up? Uh, who? Why? Hey, one question at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I'm fucking your girlfriend. At Oscorp, only Donald Menken knew of its existence. Sir. Who the fuck is Donald Mankin? I just don't think I've been much of a boyfriend. So So I think we should break up and then I'm immediately gonna start dating someone else. Are are you breaking up with me? <laughs> <laughs> It was like a soap opera. This show became so bad so quickly. I don't think so. That's it, Petey. We're through. She fucking deserved that. Fuck you, Peter. 
I don't even want to. Pl- Can we just pl- I, What do you mean to pl- I can't fucking watch this show anymore. Man needs a mental health break in the middle of the spectacular Spider Man episode. I fucking hate Peter. I don't even want to watch the show because I hate the main character so much. I don't care what happens in the remaining Shut up. nine Shut minutes of the up. show. I'm glad it got canceled. The dude was an asshole when he was 16. Let him be. I'm glad the show got canceled. I know you're the green guy. I have no response to that. This guy talks like a lawyer. <laughs> My family guy death. What the hell was that? What are you doing? Cowboying up. What? What? Man, what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck was that, Harry? Oh, this can't be good. There's a lot of animated background. That's because the animators felt like they had to apologize on behalf of the writers, so they really pulled out all the stops for the last episode. You're so extra, man. This looks kind of bad. The I'm not gonna, what the fuck? <laughs> this is like so ambitious, but uh, maybe a little, maybe a little over ambitious. This show usually looks great, but I don't know about that shot. <gasps> you don't think the goblin could be, mom? <laughs> what? I don't know, son. He literally goes like, I don't know. I haven't had sex with my wife in years. How would I know? Oh, what's wrong, Spider-Man? Off your game. I do like the climactic villain that is like the closing character of the show. It's just the mom. Like, she's not even related to like the grand plans of like the evil villains. It's like, it's just Harry's mom. Serious? What? 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 Wait, what? 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 I heard you apologize to Spider-Man last night. Norman Osborn never apologizes. <laughs> I did not sign on for this. What? You know, they got me. They got me. Like, I fell for it. I like this. That's a good plot twist. I completely forgot the chameleon even existed in the show. Of course I wasn't fool enough to drink it. Small doses in gaseous form. Oh, uh, see, he's not about the edibles. Like, he prefers to smoke it. It was Chameleon, of course, stealing Oscorp's secrets for a competitor. <laughs> what? I hired him to keep you guessing. Damn, this is a crazy plan. They got us, bro. But then he takes off another mask and it actually is his mom. It is the mom. And he takes off another mask and it's Gwen Stacy. <laughs> and then they take off another mask and it's Aunt May. They take off another mask and Patrick wearing a gorilla outfit. The limp. Completed the illusion. Ah. Oh my god, he was never the goblin. Damn, this is extra fucked up. He's like a fucking terrible evil father, actually. This is actually so cool. Oh, who are you kidding? You were saving your own sorry butt, not Harry's. Potato, potato. <laughs> That's the hardest line ever. What, you're blind! Holy <laughs> shit! Motherfucker is Holy dead! Shit. He is dead! <sighs> I don't know what I'd do without you, Gwen. Oh my god. Get fucked, <laughs> bitch! Get fucked, Peter! I got your messages. Was there something you wanted to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, Peter! Oh. Get fucked, Peter! Brand new adventure. A brand new life. The, all this needs is the frame of Spider-Man hanging himself on the web. <laughs> if the show like ended on that, it would be a masterpiece. Don't apologize. I never <gasps> do. Norman Osborn isn't dead. Oh my god. Norman Osborn is alive in Mexico. And if you want to be alive in Mexico, uh, check out our Patreon. Also, comment down below other shows we should watch. Thank you so much for watching and joining us on this adventure. What the fuck, man? I thought it would end. Alejandro Perez, Asmus Biogar, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kamlu, Communism is One People's iPhone, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, James, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granados, Gub, Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow, Jonathan, Helio, I Love Spilling the Milk, Isaiah Alfred, Kamui, Night VDB, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Misty Skies, Native, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Puffles, Remuel, and Steven Sanchez, Terrence Sills, Useless Grunt, Bell Explicit, Wyatt Lime, Yahir Sanchez.